Good evening there and welcome to the latest Elite FPL podcast with myself and Jason. And uh, this is uh, day five, I believe, Jason. Good evening, my friend. Good evening, everybody. Hope you're all having a great Monday evening. Um, Some of you guys have been waiting for quite some time. Uh, I've got myself all geared up this evening to uh, deflect loads of hate and uh, angst. And uh, yeah, um, let's call out some of the names in chat. We've got Andy Salter in here waiting to come on. We've got Nazu, Sam Norris, Brew, Ian Anderson, Amanda Dillon, Fantasy Football Focus. We've got FPL Buno in the chat as well. Nasty Balls, Free Kicker Sweden. We've got Dilly B. Hey, how's it going, Dilly B? How you doing? Um, we've got Brew, Gravy Dave, Shane McGuinness, Chaban, John Harris, uh, JP Goes, G Wiz in the house, Andrew Fong, Robert Dinsmore, Show Me the Marnie FC. <laughs> While at the top of the echelons there, we've got um, Sam Norris, Paul J, Theo, um, FPL F- FICO, um, and many, many more. Um, how are you doing, guys? Having a great time, I see, in chat. The night, this is the minus 16 swag. Absolutely, absolutely. I'm I'm chilling right now. I'm absolutely chilling. I'm here to uh, to answer any calls that you may have on your in your team. Um Steve-O, um, how you doing? Yeah, yeah. Um, as ever, this this specific stream tonight, everybody is. Um, so the structure of the show is quite simply this: we're just going to be uh, looking over the cash mini league and the free mini league that we're doing. Um, just looking over the top four places in each respective league, looking over their teams and whatnot. Obviously, there's a there's a there is a game on tonight. Officially, the game week has not finished. We've got Aston Villa versus West Ham at the moment. Uh, quite a few of the teams have got players playing tonight, including myself. I've got Gil Bear. I'm not really expecting much from him tonight. I'm really, really hoping for a clean sheet, but it's Land, been a disaster. Lansbury's on the bench. Lansbury's on the bench. So um, I'm not expecting much from him today. Uh, of course, as Jason mentioned, we will be um, looking over this minus 16 that he took last night. And I know that, let's be brutally honest here, everybody's going to want to talk to you about it, Jason. It's a simple fact and it's going to be a wonderful conversation. But we don't, 
it's not just that, but there's someone like myself who's in a major dilemma at the moment, whether I hit the wild card button or not. I've got two free transfers. I've got 1.3 in the bank. And I've got in front of me on the screen right now, in front of my screen, um, a potential um, wild card team that I want to do. But again, I'll go over that later on. I know that Block FPL uh, may consider coming onto the show because he's in exactly the same position as me. Just nothing seems to be going right for him whatsoever. And I just have no idea what to do with my team whatsoever. I know that our good friend of the show, Davey FBL, put out a tweet earlier on that um, he was just asking questions. Uh, for one second, mate. Show. We, uh, we've had a, a donation from... <laughs> I don't believe Ooh. it. Andy Salter with a 10 euro donation. Um, oh, no. Thank and, you. Andy Salter, that's that's the... the honestly, I'm um, very shocked um, and, and appreciative at the same time. Thank you very much. Before you've even come on this evening to have your say... Um, it's a very generous donation, and, and as as we always say, it will go back into the stream um, to make things like this. Um, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and yeah. Um, you. you know, who knows? Somebody will be winning this Pookie cutout, and I am back on the Pookie train. That is right, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry, Steve. Okay. No, 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 no. Absolutely. Like I said, this um, I, I Davey FPL. He put out a tweet, his usual standard tweet. Any questions for one of his uh, shows? And I just simply put. What on earth are you supposed to do with a team that you're actually happy with, but it's just constantly getting red arrows? It's it's been one of those games, but we'll get into that um, in a minute. But um, I think Jason will just crack on and look over what's happening in our cash mini league. That obviously that this oh, um, particular yeah. um, year is all about. It's <laughs> of course you've forgotten about it because I forgot about that before I did my minus sixteen. Yeah, I should have thought about that, shouldn't I? Um, well, okay, let's do this. And it, interestingly enough, as well, I've done the maths on your teams as well oh, so the three you teams didn't have to do, this... you didn't have to do that mate well i've done it and it's not as bad as you'd expect and it's not oh. as bad as anybody else is going to think so um yeah we'll go into that in a minute so yeah uh show me the money he messaged me earlier on saying that one at some point when he gets his microphone fixed he will come live on air we really do um if anybody so if wayne hanley i know you just mentioned andrew fong with an f Brandon Mills or Terence Levy, aka Manchester Reds. If any of you are li- are in the Discord right now and want to come live on air and talk about how you are in the top four cash mini league places, by all means come on air and tell us about how everything's going. But uh, yep, show me the Mane is top at the moment. He has got McGinn and Yarmolenko playing tonight. He's only one point clear at the top at the moment, but like I said, he's got two players playing tonight. Oh, yeah. and um. Yeah, the only chip he's used so far, Jason, is the triple captain. That's all he's used so far not, this season. And not always the be-all in it. It's like literally not always the uh, the be-all or end-all chip either. It's um, failed so many people. So um, yeah, um, top of the top of the cash league is he's he's, uh, he's there to stay, as he says. Five hundred forty points. Sorry, three hundred forty points. I can hardly read with these glasses on. 340 points, uh, six just over outside the 6,000 overall rank. We'll get to that in a bit because uh, people are saying I've ruined my season, but it's not as bad as people think uh, with that minus 16. Um, but we'll, um, yeah, I mean, he's, he's you know, he's going to cement his place at the top. Um, I think um, going into the game, obviously, he's going to get more points. Watch out. Watch out, Wayne Hanley. I'm coming for you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely and moving on to second place like i said andrew fong is only a point off top spots uh tonight he's got heaton and alaire playing tonight he has used his wild card and uh i mean look looking over these teams i always say this it's they're nothing special i mean show me the money i've got to say that the it's the mo pay pick which stands out for me fair play to you for bringing in in Mo paying your team. And yeah, like I said, second spot, uh, Andrew Fong, the Oz Lids. It's Andrew Fong with an F, by the way. With an F, yeah. <laughs> that is going to be made into a, um, a another quote by me. But yeah, Cantwell on the bench uh, this particular game week, but he captains Salah. And again, everything moving swimmingly along for uh, for Andrew there. Uh, moving on to third spot, he's only four, well, He's five points off top. It's so close mm. uh, between the top four at the moment. I mean, even in the generally in the cash mini league. I mean, the 
the main gap, so to speak, is between fifth and sixth, between Marlon Moore, former top spot, and David Foster, where there's a uh, six points um, <laughs> between them two. But everything above here is, is barely anything in it at the moment. So, so close. So third spot, Millsy FC, it's Brendan Mills. And he's got no players playing tonight. So yeah, he's all 56 done. all out. A captain Salah this week. Again, if Salah captains, considering they got Sterling in the team, I'd love to know the thought process as to why they they went with Salah. I mean, is it because of the history? Is because they had an easier fixture? Who knows? But Sterling playing, I, I mean, the full 90 for England. I mean, a few days before, and like me, didn't think he would have the, mm. uh, I don't know, uh, was a, uh, Andy Salter and other people in Discord running rumours around saying that Sterling would be benched, people believing them? I, I mean, there's plenty of variables, plenty of reasons, but well done to uh, to Millsy FC with that captain choice. Very good, strong captain. And mm. has Timo Pukki in as well. Uh, Mason Mount. I mean, it's uh, Maguire getting him the six points. I mean, well done, well done. Let's move down to mm. fourth. Yeah, and final spot. And if anybody's wondering why we're covering the top four, is because the top four places are the cash spots. Uh, Manchester Reds, it's Terence Levi. Oh, 78 points. Yeah, and just to let everybody know that these particular players have all used their wildcard chip apart from top spot. And wow, that's mad. 78 points. For Tongan, and all of his defenders returning. Mm hmm. Robertson. Maitland Niles. Yeah, Maitland Niles. I was absolutely shot down in a ball of flames when I mentioned his name in the in the preview. And um wow. You know Marnie got, the same, got the same got the same points as TAA and, and um Van Dyke combined. Yeah. I always find that statistic about Pookie, he got more bonus points than De Bruyne and Sterling combined. Yeah. I mean that. So that's just amazing, that is. And, uh, yeah, the Mopai pick, Mane captain. Fair, fair play to you. Congratulations on, uh, well, being fourth in the, uh, the, the the mini league, in the cash mini league. And, of course, me and you, uh, you're 29 points oh. off fourth and I'm 63. But then you throw into account your... Uh, no, we're not going to throw into the account the minus 16. As it stands right now, you're 29 points off um, well, the fourth. It's so. it literally right. I just want to say while while we're here now, now before the game tonight, which isn't going to really make too much of a difference in terms of the overall no. ranking. So just let me just put this into a little bit into perspective. So when game week six comes along, I'm roughly around about twenty. So basically, I'm thirty two points away from the top fifty k. I'm forty six points away from the top ten k. And I'm 50 points away from the top 6k. So I'm not worried. What an iota. That's why I'm chilling right now. So yeah, it's fine, guys. You can all panic for me, but I'm certainly not panicking. I'm I'm cool. I'm cool. Um, in answer to Robert Dinsmore's question, which club do you guys support? I'm a Burnley fan and Jason supports Man United. So that's that there. So moving on to our free uh, free mini league. And uh, the guy at the top, it's Jordi Christ, all hail King Kane, 150th in the world. And uh, but he has used all his chips. Right. So I mean, congratulations being that high up in the overall rankings. Uh, your team is absolutely. I'm not going to sit here and pretend it's looking absolutely fantastic for people listening on audio you've got Nick Pope in goal Robertson Alexander Arnold Lundstrom Mason Mount Sterling McGinn De Bruyne Pukki Abraham and he captained Aguero and he had blimey benched Dina fair enough well, he, made the right uh, he, he, also, had, he benched Rico yes yeah yeah yeah, yeah. But it makes sense I suppose and uh, Yes, congratulations to you there. Uh, moving on to second spot, we've got Frogs Are Us, managed by FPL Frog. <laughs> Again, um, oh, actually, sorry, my apologies. FPL Frog has played all his chips. It's All Hail the King Kane has only played his wild card. My apologies there. So it's actually, again, Frogs Are Us, the team that we're looking up on screen at the moment, who's mm. played all of his chips. And he's 19 points off uh, top spot at the moment. Uh, he's got Lanzini and Allaire, along with Gilbert, 
playing tonight. He had uh, Guerra and his team didn't captain him and went with Sterling. Had Cantwell on the on the bench, which makes complete sense to get this. But this is the strange thing. Do you know what his um, transfers were, Jason? He did Mares and Firmino out for Aguero and Trossard, despite the fact that Trossard was uh, injured. I didn't quite get that. And overall, he was minus five because of that the particular yeah. transfer, because he took a hit on that. Uh, moving on to third spot, Indian Empire FC. It's Saninja Raj Singh. Again, only played his wild card. Triple captain. Played his, yeah, he's played his triple captain and he whacked it on Aguero. I mean, I fair play. Like you, yeah, like you said, triple captains normally in double gaming are an absolute waste of space. He's going to have... Huh, he's going to have Siyunchu coming off the bench for Greenwood. Uh, but his second sub was Cantwell. So unlucky with that. Uh <sighs> One of the fortunate players to have Sun in his team. Well done to you. And then finally, it's our friend, um, my family friend and your friend. It's the best, Cy Bellamy, and he is just dropping and dropping. So Cy Bellamy was 16th in the whole world. He's now down to 3,000 and his transfers were an absolute fail. Ended up being a total of minus seven. Overall, he got rid of Josh King and Drinkwater and brought in oh. Ashley Barnes and Gwen Dozy. Oh. So, size luck is um, slow dropping. And uh, 34 points this game week, he has got Wesley playing tonight. He's just gone close as well. And yeah, Captain Salah, which is the right, right captain pick and everything. But yeah, Sai, uh, two red arrows in a row now. Uh, like I said, he was 16th in the overall rankings and... Uh, yeah, now dropped down to 3,548. It's still an amazing rank. Absolutely extraordinary. But, uh, yeah, slowly coming to end. Now then, Jason, uh, I did mention about the, the maths on your wildcard team. Well, so basically your wildcard team got 36. I would have captained out. Sterling, by the way. It would have been 100% yep. Sterling. Yep. Your original transfers that you did. Yeah. Um, which was Abraham for in for Rashford for a minus four and Trent Alexander in for Wan Bissaka. That would have got you forty two, uh, no forty six because you took a minus four, so forty two take home. Mm. But if you'd have just stuck without taking a hit, you'd have got forty five points. So really, in total, you've missed out on. Well, either way you nine, want to look at it, nine, nine points, points from yeah. I mean, I've missed nine out on nine points. or ten points. It's it. I've been let off in a weird way. It could have been yeah. worse. It could have been worse. Yeah, it could have been a lot worse. But uh, let's be brutally honest here, Jason. Go on then. People are wanting to hear about what happened last night. And for people that are, are brand new listening to this show, uh, we did a stream. Well, I did a stream last night and Jason kindly came on. And I think Jason may have regretted just answering my question to yes by taking another caller because <laughs> he decided to stay on air and he took a minus 16. Jason, take it away. How do you feel 24 hours later? I play the game in a, in a slightly different way to a lot of the conservative, patient FPR managers. Like I, I can be patient and conservative, but I like to admit so i admit that i got my wild card wrong i got it wrong i underestimated i uh, overestimated my selections and one of the biggest things that you can do is recognize when you've made a mistake and i made a mistake and i'm doing something about it and i'm enjoying i'm enjoying my team and if people people think that i've ruined my team or ruined my my rank then i mean if you consider being 32 points away from the top 50k like i keep running these stats because like i just want to just drill it into people it's game week five game week six there's still very little points between everybody you're gonna go up the ranks a lot you're gonna drop ranks a lot depending on your game week and to be 46 points away from the top 10k okay that's quite a few points to make up but I'm happy with my team and I'm not going to sit here and justify my decision because at the end can of the you, day, it's, 
that's how I pay. Can you remind our audience of the transfers that you did last night for this minus 16? <laughs> yeah, I can do. I can do. Let me just bring it up Bring it up on the screen so you can see it. Spare with me a sec. Right, so. Any, uh, what's going on in the game, by the way, while I'm doing this? It, 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 the, the game sounds pretty flat, to be honest with you. It's nil-nil at the moment. Uh, Wesley's come close. McGinn was sent through, uh, was taken down, and people think that he should have gone um, down for a penalty, but it just sounds pretty dead, to be honest with you, listening in on the radio at the moment. And uh, I think the most exciting thing for everybody is hearing about your minus 16, in all seriousness, because that was just... Can I just make this point as well? Um Last night was just phenomenal entertainment. I've got to say, I, I re-listened to the stream. Now, we keep saying this, and i will it's what Vince Chapman said to us in a private conversation, which is, these streams aren't an hour. These streams aren't even two hours. They go on for two and a half, three hours, sometimes four, four and a half hours. And you guys just stick with us live throughout the whole show and uh, uh, me and Jason can only say thank you because it's just extraordinary um, you showing the support that you do because the entertainment last night was fantastic me re-listening re to the show three hours just gone vanished I don't know what happened but at the end of the day it's because you guys come on providing us with um, conversation for us to have and talking of which if you want to come live on air with myself and jason in a minute um just get into the discord waiting room and uh, jason has okay. uh, created a wonderful new menu where just above the waiting room if you are going to think about coming live on air if you post your team in the team screenshots it just makes it easier for jason or myself to upload uh, the team and uh, jason you've just said your team's live up on air so um well, I've yeah. I've just basically got the transfers I did. So I've got out two, arguably the two top scoring FPL players in Sterling and Salah. So I've taken out, <laughs> it looks, sounds crazy, but I've taken out Soyuncu, uh, who I brought in a wild card. I've taken out Salah, Sterling, Greenwood and Alexander Silva, who was purely there for budget reasons. And I brought in or brought back Puki. The man, Pookie, who I think is, I, I agree with you, Steve-O, I can't, barring him having a, a, a serious injury, I don't see him leaving my team again. And this is a big mistake that I made. Aubameyang, I brought in. Um, I think Aubameyang is going to be an absolute must-have. Um, mm. Lansbury, who's going to be a bench fodder, third sub. Third sub, guys, don't worry. Um, he's never going to see the light of day. I brought Mane in. And um, I brought Rico in, um, and yeah, and I've also uh, yeah. So basically, my team at the moment it looks like this. So I've got a front three of Aguero, Puki, and Abamyang, <laughs> with Mane, De Bruyne, Wobi, and James in midfield, with Matip, Dinia, and Rico, and Adrian in goal still because I do think he's going to be right there. If he, if there is a, an issue with Adrian. Um, this week then i am a little bit screwed i'll probably just play without a goalkeeper to be honest i'm certainly not going to take a minus four uh for a goalkeeper twitch um but i do th expect adrian to play away at chelsea um and then obviously i'll probably look to Hasn't, um, after that i'm sure klopp's already come out and said that he won't be allison won't be well, back till after yeah, the next international yeah event. he has said that he has said that so i'm just i'm just saying like you know if there's a freak announcement or something that allison's fit to play or something i don't know um, it's very unlikely, um, very unlikely. But anyway, that's that's my team. And let's. Um, am I not concerned with my third defender position? Um, well, we had this in all seriousness. We had this discussion last night <laughs> about whether actually sacking off quote unquote premium defenders for the cheaper ones could be the better way forward to front to fund a front three that you've got along with a within reason a decent midfield yeah i mean it's it's obviously my choice has been to release funds in my defense and um am i worried about my third no not really no they've i mean not at the moment um i'm more i'm more excited than worried i'm excited about having a bamiang and aguero and puki up front 
basically and um, a few a few differentials in Iwobi and James okay I'm not expecting them to run riot but I do think that they'll take over um, De Bruyne and Mane will I mean I, I do agree I think that Mane will probably keep up with Salah um, and De Bruyne is is in there I'm not going to say he's going to he's going to cover Sterling's points for one minute because you know you can't predict the future but I'd rather I mean I would rather have Aguero on my team at this point it's what I was saying yesterday than Sterling at the moment. And um, De Bruyne is there for the assists. I mean, he's a machine. But there you go. Yeah. So overall... 289 overall. points now. If you, take the minus, if you take the minus 16 into account, 289 points, which means I'm still 18 points ahead of Stevo. Hmm at this stage uh well come come the game up, updating on friday night anyway so you know t depending on how um gilbert does for you of course that's that's with a, a little asterisk on the end um could be less it probably will be less but uh I well that's probably going to be one point because gilbert's always got a, a yellow card in him and everything and <laughs> even even potentially a red card so i'm genuinely not hopeful on this game whatsoever i mean to again i've jinxed everything that I've ever said on this show, but I'm going to jinx it now. This game sounds like it's going to be ending nil-nil. Well, that'll so be it's not right going to you. end nil-nil. <laughs> uh, it's going to end probably three, four. Uh, get your money on this. Anybody's betting, get your money on this. Uh, West Ham to win four nil and Gilbert to uh, get a yellow card. Get your money on that and uh, <laughs> you're probably going to make quite a bit of money because I can just see that happening knowing my luck. Uh, regarding fantasy football this far. I mean, talking of my team, like I said, so on the screen at the moment, basically, my midfield is Mane, Sterling, De Bruyne, Mount and Son. Front two of Aubameyang, Puki. I have two defender spots left. I've got Aurier, Lundstrom and Dina, um, the three defenders. But the problem is, is that I can't have, I've only got 5.4 in the bank. So obviously I need to make money. This is potentially just to explain if I was to consider doing a wild card, which the thought process is in my head. If not, I've got two free transfers and I genuinely have no idea what to do with those two free transfers. I want to get rid of Sabellos. He's an absolute waste of space. I also want to get rid of Ashley Barnes. The, the, the easiest swap would be, say, and I've got 1.3 in the bank. Oh, yeah. The, the easiest swap that I could do would be the popular Abraham in for Ashley Barnes. And you're just short of getting in Son, aren't you? No, 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 no. That would require me, say, yeah, yeah. for I, example. You, yeah. If you took out so Barnes I, for 4.5 and then you couldn't go... You ain't got enough, wouldn't yeah, happen. You, okay, well, there you go. Yeah. So, I mean, if I was to look at that this now, um, so if I was to get in Sun, it would require... Yeah, I couldn't do it. I'd have to take a minus... Yeah, I couldn't do it. It would be impossible for me to get Sun in. I'm I'm still of the opinion that uh, having Pookie in is, is, as you stated just a minute ago, is essential. You have to have him in your team. I think that, like you said... <laughs> You cannot get rid of him. No, no one should. If you if you haven't got him, you've got a bite. It's a bit like Jimenez, isn't it? Last season, I think. If anything, possibly better than Jimenez last season. Seems to be getting in more double digit returns. I'm probably going to be proven wrong now by looking at his um, stats. But Honey Glaze Gammon I mean, says that he swears at the moment that everyone swaps Sabalas out, he will start playing Cam. And oh yeah, oh, don't even <laughs> talk to me about that. I'm, I'm, I can guarantee you now that's exactly what's going to happen. You don't even need to say that. That's what I cannot stand about playing this game. I mean, Gee Wiz came on last night about talking about a very, well, a massive um, member of the fantasy football scout site in Billaronka who plays the game with patience. And if I took right from what Gee Wiz was saying, and please correct me if I'm wrong, he still owns Wilson and Fraser. Mm. and various other players because he's just sticking patience Wilson's with them. taking over, isn't he? He really is. And the reason why people got rid is because he wasn't justifying the price of £8 million because they were cheaper players mm. doing better. Mm. But reality is, is that 
you know the way my the way it's going at the moment you know Wilson seems like a really good option bringing in consistent points you know and uh, I mean at the moment just to let people know if I was to do two free transfers to get rid of Ashley Barnes as an example uh, for Abraham that leaves me with 6.2 in the bank but I may not even need to do that and just do the one free transfer and just have Abraham and that's it but I did say last night it all depends on what well, you've got Mount to... already haven't you you've yeah, I've got up, Mason you would double up on Chelsea then I mean, yeah, I mean, can see, I can see it working, but I mean, they've got Liverpool next, and like I said, I can see that being an absolute pasting for for Chelsea. Yeah, That's but, I, I, but I can't see Liverpool keeping a clean sheet either. No, no, no one seems to be able to keep a clean sheet at the moment. So but... you know, the likes of Trent, Van Dijk, Robertson, all that money that people have invested in the defence. I mean, unless they're getting an attack and returns, are they really that much value over? The likes of, like, for example, Wan Bissaka now. You know, mm. I mean, okay, he's had one clean sheet in God knows how many weeks, but uh, there's other options out there. And um, I mean, it's not, it's not really been, it's not really been a game for the defenders at the moment. Let's be honest. It's not exactly um, been returning much. I'm talking about the likes of Zinchenko, obviously Man City, Dinia getting zero. I mean, it's just, you know, we are just there hoping for attacking returns with these players. Really, the likes of Trent, Dinia, Robertson. You know, Van Dyke, and if they don't return the attack, the, the attacking points, then they're just the same, same really as a four point five. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, Jason, shall we see who's um, yeah, wanting sure. to come live on it? I'm surprised Andy Salter doesn't want to come. Oh live no, he will. You know, he said he'd be on at eight o'clock. Uh, sorry, nine o'clock. No, he said he's going to be on nine o'clock. Yeah. So we got we got twenty minutes to go. Well, sorry, half an hour let's to bring go. On Phil. That. Okay. Oh no, no, let's bring on. Let's bring uh, JP goes. Let's bring him on. Uh, good evening, JP Goes. How are you doing? You're live on the uh, Elite FPL podcast. Hello. Why does he keep moving out? JP Goes, are you there? Hiya, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now, buddy. Welcome to the Hi, stream. Guys. Welcome to the um, this evening's podcast. Uh, how, how have you got on for Game Week 5? Um, um, I had a pretty bad triple captain this week with Aguero, but yeah. Well, let's have a look, shall we? Let's bring it up. Well, I mean, it's, I mean, I, I say it's a pretty bad, I mean, you, you, you triple captain scored, which is better. Play me now. Sorry to interject. What's that? Gilbert, Gilbert possibly close with either an assist or a goal. But it would have been ruled <laughs> off. But flaming uh, Nora! Oh my God! Almost, almost in jub- jubilation there. Um, I mean, look. I mean, to be fair, you know, you've triple captained. You, your players scored. All right, first and foremost. Lots of people captain Sterling. I mean, it's not. It's not the end of the world. This. It's not. I wouldn't say it's necessarily a fail. Um, it was a logical decision. I thought um, Aguero would get more than one a turn, and um, after Sane last season. Um, we all know that triple captains can easily blank. Um, Steve-O. Say that again, sorry. Oh, well, it's triple captain Aguero this week. Um, it's mm-hmm. not the end. It's not the end of the world. I mean, no, no, no. You, you, you said earlier on that any form of attack and returns is good because we have seen in the past. Yeah. These absolute. Well, I've never had a triple captain go right. I'll be, I'll be lucky to get an assist with a triple captain over the last few seasons. So, <laughs> yeah, getting a goal. At this uh, time of the season, fair play. Yeah, sixty-five points. I mean, that's a massive score. You've you've effectively yeah. you've more than doubled my score. Um, so well, not quite, but you've you've almost doubled my score. And um, yeah, it's yeah, it's got. What? Where are you now? Um, I'm just around nine hundred k. Yeah, so I'll be passing you on the way. The way up, when way down, you'll be passing me on the way up. No, it's fine. Um, we, I mean, the team's set up. I mean, looking at that team, Juan Bissaka on the bench is just unfortunate. What, what made you play Campwell over Juan Bissaka? Just out of curiosity. Um, I just thought Leicester have looked strong this season. 
Yeah. And I thought Man City game would be a high scoring one for both teams. So I just risked it. Wow, you obviously were right. I mean, you're right in the fact that Man City wouldn't keep a clean sheet. I was, like everybody, shocked at City's defence. And, um, I mean, there's a lot of people that had Pookie and Campbell on the bench. At least you're not one of those people. And, yeah, um, an absolute monster score. So that's a, that's a massive well done to you. Are you in the uh, Community League? Um, I'm not, as I... Yeah... Okay, um, Steve, anything, <laughs> anything further to say? Um, uh, no, other than thanks for going Barnes to Abraham and Wambasaka downgraded. Barnes to Abraham and Wambasaka downgraded. Hmm, I, I, I'm a so fan. Who? Yeah. Who would you downgrade Wambasaka to? Um, maybe Serge Aurier, but he's not consistently starting, so. Maybe just a full point. I five. think I think Aurier will cement it. well, I'll say cement, but I think it's his position to lose. I'm I'm agreeing with Boone now. I think that um after that performance, um he's almost set to start for the foreseeable future. I I personally mm. um like the Tammy Abraham pick. Again that you have already got you've got Mount in your team with your to doubling up. I mean, it's not outside the realms of possibility that Chelsea don't break f- through Liverpool's defence. So, um, Steve-O, Tammy Abraham, you've just been speaking about him, about um, a grade and Barnes to Abraham. Um, sorry, did you say it would be for minus four or did you say you've got two free transfers? Um, it I've would got be for a tra- minus four, oh. so be a, I might hold out for it'd be, a week. Yeah, I, I wouldn't do it for a minus four, no. I would keep hold of Barnes for another week and then assess after that, especially after the Liverpool game. That's what yeah, I'd do. Definitely. Yeah, I think Barnes is good for one more, give him one more fixture and then um, make your transfers afterwards. Be patient. Don't do what I do. Just take hits for fun. Mm. <laughs> But um, but thank you, JP. I appreciate you sharing us your team this evening. That's a good score, my friend. It's a good score, solid. Thank you very much. No, speak Cheers soon. Dude. Speak soon. Just just to interject, I've got a minus four at the moment on my screen. Essentially, it's a right. Bamiang and Cantwell in for Barnes and Sabellos, and then I've got. This is the thing. I've got 4.1 in the bank, but it means that I've had to get rid of Van Dyke to fund this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Abamyang in. Yes. And Cantwell in. In for Sabellos and Barnes. But, hold on a minute, we've got a bit of action. And thankfully it's been cleared. Um, How can you Mark that? In there Because I've got rid of Van Dyke. Right. So okay. Essentially, okay. essentially, my team would be a three-five-two formation still, but it would mean getting rid of Van Dyke for for like Rico and, or something. And I've got four point one. I wouldn't get. Well, I'd have to get Rico, but I wouldn't want him. I'd rather get Martin Kelly, but he's injured at the moment, unfortunately. There's just no one of interest in that four million pound bracket to bring in. And Rico, I mean, his starts, he started one, two games this season, uh, the first game of the year, and then obviously literally on Saturday. Uh, sorry, yesterday. Other than that, I don't really trust him to start and everything. And, yeah, but what uh, do you need to trust him to start? Well, it would mean playing either Lundstrom or Gilbert. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, Aston Villa aware well essentially then Sheffield United um, who have Bournemouth got they're away at Southampton aren't they well yeah it's a question of rotation between Bournemouth Sheffield United and what do we call it Ooh. but do you oh, think Guardian. Kelly do you think Kelly's just going to walk back in honestly I, d- I don't know this is, I this don't is think I don't think he, I don't think he is a set fullback I don't think he's guaranteed as fullback for Crystal Palace. Mm. They've got, they've got. Um... I would, I would, if I was to do that move, based on the history, <laughs> I would probably captain the Bamiang as well. 
So, so let me just write this down. Let me just write this down. Orba in. For Barnes. For Barnes. Cantwell in for Sabellos. Cantwell in for Sabellos. That's an upgrade. Yeah. And then... Two upgrades. A 4.1 defender for Van Dyke. Oh. So you get two upgrades for one downgrade. Two, mass- yeah, two means- massive upgrades. Do you know what? And that's that's a minus four as well. That is that. I'm not joking now. That. <laughs> so you're so you would have um, Zinchenko, Dinya, and then one of Gilbert, Lundstrom, or Rico or whatever or Kelly. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm telling yeah. you. I'm saying now. Um, I'll be honest with you. Not as a rival. It's just well, just br- just bring in just bring in all Bamyang and Cantwell. I mean, with the fixtures mm. that Norwich have got and Arsenal have got, I mean, <laughs> yeah, go for it. I don't think Van Dyke is going to keep. I mean, I don't think Van Dyke, Van Dyke and Barnes and Sabayas are going to get anywhere near the same amount of points over the next four game weeks. Mm. Like that's the question you've got to ask yourself. Taking away that minus four, Barnes, Sabayas, Van Dyke. Over the next four game weeks with the teams that they're playing, are they going to outscore Aubameyang and Cantwell? Well, I'm just looking at the... Let's let's look at the transfers in page at a second on the... Everyone's, say, everyone's saying toss a coin. Brilliant. The one time I actually want to use the status thing, it's broken. What status? Report feedback. You're taking the... F- well, nearly small then. That's ridiculous. You want to use the what? I want to go on the status bit on the the main page, and it won't work. What, what believe, on what on the um the transfers in page on the on the website, and it's bloody broken. What do you want to know? It's on here for me. The top price, transfer top transfers in. Is that what you want? Yeah. Know? So basically, the what so, is the likelihood of the Young and Cantwell rising tonight? Well, Cam, uh, Cantwell has been transferred in by one hundred seventy five thousand and forty seven managers. Um. I don't think Aubameyang's due for a rise tonight. Let me just quickly check on FPL statistics. Um, are you? Is that exact money, is it? You've got exact money for that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 4.1 <laughs> Rico having that. Okay. Um, it's unlikely that they're going to go up tonight. So Dan Von Hole is saying no one will rise tonight. No, no. So You can, um, you can hold off for the moment. Have a, sleep, yeah. have, a sleep, have a sleep on it. Or you could toss a coin. What about, what about Aubameyang? Aubameyang is, I believe, he's, um, yeah, he's nowhere near. He's, no, he's recently rose, didn't he? He went up recently, I think. No, he yeah, hasn't. Okay. No, he hasn't. No, he's no, he's not near a rise. No, uh, he's um, not for a, a few days, if he is going to, not for a few days anyway. Well, everybody, every in chat is obviously going off with what you did last night, which is um, basically saying uh, to toss a coin. But <laughs> you, yeah, I, I, I don't yeah, know. Slightly less I... risk for for slightly less risk. For oh you. well, sorry. Someone in in chat has just mentioned that Rico's only four million. Yeah, I know that, but I've only got four point one to spend, and there's no one, no defenders worth bringing in at four million. Other than Rico, Rico Rico's the be- be- best pick at four million. Yeah, so I mean, there's, there's uh, no... yeah, it's yeah, he is. It's quite lit. It, it literally is a top of the coin. It's just uh... yeah. Let's see. Let's see who's um. Let's see. Yeah. Who... Oh, just for FPL Booners, just to alliterate this point again. So, uh, for FPL Booner, anybody that didn't catch this, minus four. Barnes, Sabellos. Van Dyke out for Rico, Cantwell, and Abamyang. So to make that point again for a minus four, Abamyang, Cantwell, and Rico in for Van Dyke, Sabellos, and Ashley Barnes. No, However, I could just a lot of people saying go for it. It's a great transfer. Mm. I won't mm. be surprised if he does it, chat. Is that a goal? Oh, no. Wesley with a header saved by Fabianski. It sounds like a really boring game, but Aston Villa have had the better chances. So, yeah. I'm, uh, 
Right, so let's see who else is wanting to come on this evening. Yeah, absolutely. We've yeah, got definitely. Phil. Phil, it's been waiting. Phil, um, oh no, there you go. Phil, hey, how you doing? Evening, Jason. How's it going, guys? Yeah, not too bad. Evening, Phil. How are you doing? Uh, I'm all wrapped up on 72 minus 8. 72 minus 8. That's, an, that's a big win, isn't it? So you took a hit minus well, 8. And um, was that... Involved... Talking of... Sorry. Talking of hits, uh, Phil, what are your thoughts on um, this potential minus 4 that I could do live tonight? Remind me of the film again, please, Steve. <laughs> um, Abamyang. Bloody hell, Aston Villa, a flaming sounds to me like Fabianski's having a bit of a uh, one of those games where he World could class. be in for the three bonus points. Brilliant. Yeah, um, yeah so Abamyang, Cantwell, and Rico in for Van Dyke, Barnes, and Sabellos. Yeah, I like them. I'm actually thinking of bringing Abamyang myself. Hmm. And I'd captain. I'd probably captain Abamyang as well. Yeah. He looks good mm. against. I'm just going to bring you <laughs> Arsenal could tear Villa up next week. Yeah, your team, Phil, is absolutely phenomenal. He is. Uh, where are you in the challenge league? He's 80th in the challenge league, Jason. Yeah, I've got, I've got, I've got his team week. up here. I've got his team. That is fantastic. Oh, Kala- Kala- you must be happy with that Kalashnikov assist. Phil. Sorry, Steve. You broke up, mate. I was just saying, you must be very happy with that Kalasanach assist. Yeah, it was looking all great at half time, and then Emery takes off Sabayos, and I think Arsenal fell apart after that from what I was watching. Mm. Yeah, don't know what Sabayos has to do, really. Um, Emery just likes tinkering around. Um, Mm. Looking at this team, I'm uh, in just admiration. I mean, it's it's a very well-rounded team. And um, even like the likes of Lundstrom, Pereira, Cantwell on the bench. I mean, other than having a benching headache every week, yeah. it's, uh, it's it, massive, solid, solid team. I had two bits of real luck, really. i done uh, Sterling to Salah was one of my transfers this week. And then before the game week kicked off, we was all sat in Discord and someone was saying our Pogba weren't playing and I thought United was going to lose the game. And I was toying around with playing Pereira over Pookie. Had put Pereira in, but oh then just... God. You'd have been gutted. Slow down. Yeah, then so I said, I've just closed off the thing. I haven't clicked save team. So then it's all oh, I switched Pookie back into the team. Yeah, yeah. Thank God for that. <laughs> I mean, if, I can understand why you didn't play Camp while and Pookie. I mean just having the one Norwich was enough really for, for I mean for a lot of people um, hindsight's a great thing isn't it who would have thought that Cantwell would have outscored Dinya, Sabias, De Bruyne and Alexander Arnold combined um, yeah yeah it's well yeah, actually is. actually Cantwell outscored Braun, Sabias, Alexander Arnold and Dinya combined um, it's ridiculous <laughs> but um, it's it's one of those. I mean, you've you've got it right this week. There's no doubt about it. That's an amazing score, and yeah, you've got to be chuffed that you've got the son in ahead of the the masses that are transferring him in now. I'm just pleased that I stuck with him because I had him in from for game week three when yeah. I done my wild card. So I played three and four and no great returns, and I was toying of keeping him or not. Mm. I was thinking about switching to Pepe, but then I stuck with Son. So that's another bit of luck. Very good, very, very good. And, you know, you haven't gone heavy in, in your attack, which allows you to invest into your defence and midfield. And I think you've got... Can, can I just ask what your opinions are on me doing a minus four and getting rid of Trent to upgrade Barnes to a Bombier? Oh. Well, basically, you're not... not obviously, you're not copying me, but... It's yeah, essentially, it's a, what I'm doing. I don't. I don't like Liverpool's for like the next. Is it next week nine when they've got the real good one start nine or ten? I'm not sure. What What's your but, um What's your uh, uh, budget when you get rid of uh, those two players? What have you got left to spend on a defender? Uh, I'm not sure. What, I've got one point four in the bank, so yeah. I can go down to like a four point five. Yeah. Four point five. Okay. Oh, wow. I'm, wow. I'm a bit tempted by that Chelsea lad. Oh, Tumori. Yeah. 
How can you afford? Um, how can you afford Trent and Barnes to a Bamiang and um, thingy with one point four? Because I've only got one point three in the bank, and I suppose one million difference. Yeah, mm. so is that the right maths? Is it, Phil? Yeah, because I've got one point four, so Trent will go give me two point five. That will give me three point nine. It should be enough, shouldn't it? Wow. Um, well. What, Barnes to nine. Aubameyang? Oh, no, I think I'm no, still no, a little... Aubameyang's still 11, a isn't short. he? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, mm. But, uh, yeah, but Aubameyang's 11. You could but go Vardy. I, you could go Vardy. I could go to... Yeah, that was another thing I'm looking at. Because mm. the other option I wanted to do was to buy us to Madison, but I'm point one out on that. Oh, unlucky. Unlucky. <laughs> Very, very unfortunate. I mean, talking hits, what were your thoughts on Jason's minus 16 yesterday? I don't mind the moves. I mean, I was worried about the price rise. If he could, I would have liked him to have waited till I, Wednesday. I can, I, Pookie went up last yeah, night. I know. Pookie went up last night. But, I had to get Pookie but then, in. like Jason said, we're, we're early in the thing. It's the same situation with me. I've, I'm willing to take a minus eight yeah, at the moment because I, mean, I have to try and climb the ranks. This is the time of this is the time of the season where you can do it and not feel like the weight of the world crushing you because there's so little points between ranks at the moment and you know just like the figures I said earlier on I mean to be only 45 points away or 46 points away from the top 10k as i've written down here as of before tonight's game is is still really i'm I'm quite happy with that and it also with your minus 16 so far i've took three hits and i'm plus 18 on those moves with the moves that you've made you could easily be plus 25 points this week well, up, I mean, it, again, I'm I'm just going to play it calm and cool. I'm not going to get excited because last time I got excited, we all know what happens. I'm just going to sit <laughs> I'm just going to sit back and relax and not and not get carried away with 8-0 score predictions. Yeah. But no, it did look talk, good. Talk the the way which. they were passing through Man City from the back did did look proper amazing. I've got to give them credit for that. Mm. Talking of which, Jason this week's predictions that we went that we did I have absolutely failed miserably you got two I got, out of ten so, I think wasn't it yeah in, in total I got three points you got six points and I think the history's on seven or something like that no no your joint your joint with the history is down to tonight's game basically I think you went two one and so did the history so basically I think Ramsey Ramsey was top of that league I think he must have got two results spot on Oh, is the, is the website updated, has it? Uh, uh, this was on after Saturday games. He was oh, on I didn't ten, realize that. All right, okay, cool. Points. So for anybody listening, wondering what on earth we're talking about, so elitefpl.com, yeah. if you go onto there, uh, Jason has created a score predictor game where, simply put, you just enter your score predictions and there is a leaderboard. So I didn't have a, I didn't realize it was updated until... Um, now, so elite. Oh, it's live. It update lives, mate. It's an, a live update. Oh, is that right? Okay. Yeah. Brilliant. Let me just not, let, me, let me just bring up the leaderboard. Hang on a second. So, yeah. So elitefpl.com, everybody. If you want to sign Ra- up, a guy the, called um, Ramsey's at the top at the moment. Ramsey's at the top with 10, 10... Does it show you what um, they predicted? No, it doesn't show what he predicted, unfortunately. <clears throat> Also, don't forget to sign up to Tap Tap, guys. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, yes. Uh, we've actually, I've been given the name of the winner of the Tap Tap um, sc- scores. Basically, hang on a minute, I'll let you know now. So, while you guys talk amongst yourselves, the winner of the £100 prize in the Elite FPL community for Tap Tap Sports was let me bring it up a guy called alpine fpl was his name just bring it up i think that's the thing that if you're quite um consistent with filling it out each week you've got a good chance of winning some oh, of yeah. the the scores for the actual month manager of the month aren't the guesses of the month aren't that high and you've only got to go for, you've only got to go win lose there we're not going for full score yeah. predictions so basically joe 
also known as Alpine FPL, a Liverpool fan with a 53% correct predictions for the month of August. His chosen profile picture is that. I don't know if you guys can see if it's going to focus on it, but probably you can't really see. Um, and yeah, well done to to uh, to Joe there. Um, basically, tap tap. Um, the guy at tap tap keeps calling you Jono, by the way, Steve. Not I don't know why. Um, and um, yeah, get yourself signed up to tap tap sport, guys. The link's in the description. Put in the referral code that's in the description. You get signed up to a monthly £100 prize pool, um, guaranteed £100 prize pool, depending on whoever gets the highest out of the community. Um, so, yeah, 53%. Not not that high, actually. Um, well, you've just mentioned the word community. I know Phil um, was um, somebody that was always interested in the community team. And uh, I'm going to post that community team up in theme because it's something that we... Unfortunately, we neglect because we're so wrapped up in our own teams that we forget about, well, the elite FPL community team. And this week it got 59 points. But we did put up a... How's it doing in that that league, by the way? um, I'll find that in two seconds once I can just find... How many menus have we got on Discord? My God. Um, I don't uh, blame Lama. He keeps making more. I'll post that, and that's been posted now into the Discord um, group thing, uh, Jason. But, uh, yeah, so the community team is overall rank 351,000. So I may as well just copy this team. (laughs) Well, the community (laughs) team is doing better than my team, definitely. And it's second. Wow. Ooh, it's second in this particular mini league, and we are 17 points off top spot. Wow. I don't see anybody playing tonight. One thing I did notice in that mini league, um, Daily Lama posted a picture of it the other day. There's a guy in there who's got a total balance of a hundred and five point four, I think it was. So he's just literally just transferring in players that are going up in price. Mm. Yeah, people do that. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. Yeah. But um, yeah, I think I think what we what we're going to want to do with this particular community team, Jason, is um, at some point put a poll up in the thing again about if their team wants to get wild card or not, because there's a lot of injuries in there and everything, and I'm sure people will want to um, well, like we keep saying, we want to kind of have this represent you guys and us. Now, admittedly, it's crazy. Again, we have... It's crazy. It's outscored my team and it's had two players with just yeah. zero points. There you go. Yeah, um, he's going to get Ben Donker off the bench with a whopping <laughs> one. There we go. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Um, to be honest. Should we? Should we? Uh, let's bring Let's bring Ezo in. I know he's been waiting for ages. Still, thank you very much for joining us this evening. No worries, mate. You take care, guys. Yeah. Cheers, cheers buddy. Dude. Thank you. See ya. I know that Ezo's been waiting for a while to come on. So, Ezo, you're now on live for the Monday night reactions to game week five. Are you in a happy mood, Ezo? Um. Oh yeah, I mean, I'm in a right mood. Thank you. Uh, I just. You posted three. T- you posted three teams in. Yeah. Are you on about taking a hit by any chance? So yeah, the three teams I posted. I I think I'm definitely gonna try and switch something up. Um, this week, but the three teams I posted in. What was your score? Of... What was your point score? Uh, I got fifty-one last week. Or this game week, you mean? Um, yeah, this game week. 51 this game week, and the three teams are posted here. Um, you're not sh- like quite sure on your midfielder choice in the second screenshot? No. Though. So I, I have, like, obviously 6 million on that one, and the three options that I was actually going to ask you for that one was, would you go with McGinn, so Sabayo, or Sabalios, uh, or Iwobi? No. Well, God forbid you go with Iwobi, you have to deal with Andy, Andy Salter's wrath. Um, no, I think that, um, I mean, again, this is that Dan Gray, the defender to Rico, bringing a Bamiang move. I mean, I like the theme for me, you know, I'd, I'd actually, going without Salah or Mane is well, really risky. Yeah. Interesting you bring that up because I was, I'm not, I'm, by the way, I'm not going to be doing this, but I was actually contemplating doing a minus Eight again. I'm not doing this to free up funds by Toss getting rid of Salah. For... Toss the coin, Steve. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Salah to Salah to Mane this week. But again, it's just such a 
a waste you know, of a transfer. Do you know how many times I hear Steve-O say in a season, guys? I was actually thinking about contemplating doing this move to that, and then the 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 game week comes, and then that player does an absolute. The player he's got in is a shocker, and the player he was thinking about getting in has a massive haul. And it's like, if only I well, listened gl- to my own advice. I'm waiting for it. Well, I'm, gl- I'm waiting yeah, for it. Well, I'm glad. I'll tell you what. I'm glad that it goes live on air because at least there's proof with my yeah. thought process, and there are people proven that have listened to what I've said, gone with my. Um, information that I'm giving out. Just go I haven't for it, taken Steve-o. my own information and um... <laughs> take a minus eight. No, you eight. joke, but honestly, flip a coin. Just you know, take a minus eight, mate. Everyone wants you to do it. <laughs> Join the hit train. Join the hit train. <laughs> I'm not taking a minus. Come on, eight. My goodness, no chance in hell of that. But uh, I am tempted by this uh, Abamyang uh, Cantwell. Uh, it's just losing Van Dyke. It's not particularly pleasant on the eye getting rid of Van Dyke for Rico and only having Zinja. Right, Zinja and Z- let's, Zinko, but... let's move it back to uh, Izo's team. Um, yeah. Aurea in Granduzzi. Oh, right. Okay, that midfield. Yeah. I mean, out, of, out of all the teams that... I've seen there, out of all the teams that you've posted, I would go with for the Aurea. Firmino, Aubameyang. That's what I would go with. And the, the mid... midfielder, whatever, the non-playing midfielder, Guendouzi or whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, out of all the teams, that would be the one. Yeah, mm. what about you, Steve? Uh, whatever you do, just don't get rid of uh, anybody to bring in Sabellos. That's all I'll say to you. <laughs> Sabellos is an absolute waste of space. Completely useless. And then if I out of a Wobi or McGinn? Uh, I'll, go, I'll with, McGinn. Go, go with McGinn because I've got a Wobi and he hasn't done anything for me and he's not going to do anything for me for the next four game weeks. <laughs> okay, I got it. Okay, got there you it. go. Brilliant. Thank you very much. No Cheers, worries, dude. dude. Thank you. Thank you for coming on. Thank you. Let's get on Andy1998, I think. Mr. Andy1998 or 1998, welcome to the stream. You're live on air. How All you right, doing? lads, how's it going? Yeah, not too bad, Andy. How's it going with yourself? Well, the game week hasn't gone well. Well, apart from that, I'm doing grand. Oh, well, how bad's your game week been? It's been better than mine. <laughs> only just. Oh, I don't know. Well, yeah, yeah, it's just only just, yeah. All right, it's 39 points. It's... Uh, Dinya, Zinchenko, Robertson, Lundstrom. At least you had a defender that returned you some points. But then you've got yeah. that midfield. I mean, McGinn's on one at the moment, but by the sounds of it, um, well, actually, it's, yeah, by the sounds of it, McGinn's been running the show, hasn't he, for Aston Villa? Yeah, he's had a, a few shots on that, so hopefully he gets something. Um, we've got De Bruyne with a one point as well. Salah Sterling, I mean, captain fail with Sterling, but you weren't to know. I mean, it's... It was a choice that so most people went with. Everyone, most people went with Sterling. Um, oh, we've got yeah. Alair playing tonight as well, uh, and then of course you've got Puki on the bench. I mean, still you could still gain points if one of McGinn or Haller does something. So it's certainly not over for you. I don't think you need to worry. You're just below the average. Obviously, I think you'll end up just below the average, the game week average. <coughs> yeah, hopefully, hopefully. Yeah, it's been a bit of a surprising week with the the the, the fixtures. You know, with like Chelsea yeah. and City, it was just bonkers. It was, and um, you've posted another team underneath that. Is this? Yeah, your. This is my next next game week. <coughs> right, sorry, I've got a bit a bit of a sore throat at the moment. Um, kind of sucks, really. Oh yeah. Well, I'm looking at this, and um, Pope. I don't see Pope keeping a clean sheet. You hope, you <laughs> no, hope, you hope, it, hoping for save points there. And you got Cantwell and Pookie against him as well. Alaire at home to yeah. Man United. Not great. Abraham home to Liverpool. Uh, Not great. <laughs> I, 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 so many people jumping on so, the Abraham train, but I just I can see him blanking. I really can see him blanking at home. Yeah, to I, that's more of a long term decision. The Abraham one. Yeah. Yeah, uh, of course. Because after, after after Liverpool, there's some great fixtures there for him to 
Ring Sorry, I missed I missed this, um, Andy. You've done a what? A two free transfers or a minus four for Abraham and Cantwell? Minus a minus four. I got rid of him again, and yeah, 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 I yeah. brought in uh, Abraham and Cantwell. Abraham for for, you got... for Greenwood. Ah, oh, right. So you're going with a th- oh, that's the you know, yeah, brilliant. Look at that front line of Abraham Allaire and Poo. I think. Here's me debating over bringing in a Bamiang for crying out loud, and uh, you've done and done that from uh, minus four, yeah? Yeah, minus four. Mm. I just That's see Cantwell so doing better than McGinn uh, over the next, you know, six no, I game see weeks. That. Yeah, I see that. And again, you're going you're going long term, aren't you? Um, but well, yeah. I think I think from an and attacking point, point of view, I think from an attacking point of view, though, Andy. Norwich are better. I mean, I'm probably speaking absolute yeah. nonsense, but I do think that. And Norwich have got some really nice fixtures. I can see them scoring against us. Uh, Crystal Palace away. Now that is going to be a. I think of the next th- four, Crystal Palace. So you have got Burnley, Crystal Palace, Aston Villa, Bournemouth. Crystal Palace is the hardest game of those particular fixtures. Whereas in yeah. Aston Villa's case, well, you're talking. Obviously, including Norwich. They've got Arsenal up next. <sighs> no hope. Uh, Norwich away. Brighton and Hove Albion. Burnley. Nah. I, I, I think I think you've gone with the right one. And do you know what? I'm I'm very, very tempted hitting that minus four now. Yeah. I'm I like really I like the transfers you're thinking. You're thinking mm. of. It's just there... getting rid of Van Dijk, Andy. Yeah, I know. But, like, they do have difficult fixtures for the next like five or six weeks so mm. i think it's i think it's a gamble worth taking i mm. think so too just Mc, uh, McGinn's, just a quick McGinn, update mcginn's apparently gone. down yeah apparently yeah he apparently oh, went down is he, gone? Of... is he actually no, 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 is he no, no, going no. off he may be coming off but no uh, fbl guero saying mcginn gone should be a oh. red apparently mcginn serious injury mm. question mark ouch so a lot of people are basically saying that whoever tackled McGinn um, should, should have been sent should off. Should be sent off. Wow. Right, okay. Uh, uh, just to answer, like I made the right decision. <laughs> just to make Andy's point made clear, so Chelsea away for Liverpool fixtures. This is Chelsea away, Sheffield United away, Leicester at home, Man United away, Tottenham at home. Wow. But it's just Rico... And I've only got four point one in the bank. That's the difficulty with this decision. Well, that's yeah. the difficulty. You can't have them all, and you've got to make compromises. I mean, you got to make compromises, mate. You will have Gilbert there. It's not like you don't have someone else to play. Hmm. Ah, Gilbert. Well, that's... well, he might end up getting you a clean sheet here, mate. He might do, but I can't see it. I just can't see it. I'm yeah. Well, knowing my fantasy, my fantasy football season is just. It's disgusting so far. It's in 1.7 million a mile, something. No, rubbish. Um, I've, <laughs> I've made. I've done nothing wrong this season. In fact, it was James off Planet FPL. I was going to tweet them actually. I was going to quote him. Uh, James on Planet FPL made the point that his season's doing rubbish because why? He's choosing the wrong captains. It's the same for me. My team's fine. It's just that my captain choices um, each week have been complete failed, other than in game week one, I believe. So yeah, it's been yeah, a very. It, your team really suffers if you don't get the the right captain pick. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. You know? I mean, like I've captain... had two bad captain picks the last two game weeks, and uh, they're both been red arrows. So it it happens. Yes, I haven't I haven't had a captain. Well, Sterling game week three got me a goal and uh, maximum bonus points and everything, but it just I don't know about you, Andy. I just I just depleted with what to do with my team in my case anyway just utterly yeah it can, it can be it can be difficult can... Who, who would you who are you thinking of captain in for game week six i know we're nowhere near the, the preview yet but you got I'm, thoughts i'm going sterling um i looked at the stats from i obviously watched the city game and i looked at the stats uh for that particular game week, and I compared Aguero, Aguero and Sterling, and then I 
uh, compared to Sterling to KDB. And uh, I know KDB only came on for the second half, uh, but Sterling has very good similar stats compared to Aguero in that game. Well, so I'll, I'll, I'll be almost certainly that captain. Show up. I'll be almost certainly captain in Aguero. So, yeah, I think Sterling yeah. Sterling is a, a a safe bet. I think um, Chelsea away for Salah. Who knows? Um, Chelsea aren't exactly known for the stout defending this season. Um, it could be a very yeah. close score between Salah and Sterling again. Um, so I just think that, oh, to be honest, I think that um, history. The, yeah, the go, history's good. Yeah, the history's good with Sterling, and um, like and, like we uh, said, that City have got to bounce back, haven't they? Yeah, it's, it's the same with Aguero. I think it's seven goals, two assists in seven games. Yeah, I, I'm keeping Maguire in my team now. Like, I don't care about Sterling yeah. right now. I mean, um, St- I, I think Steve-O um, says that he's depleted. He doesn't know what to do. You've made decisive transfers there and you've planned ahead. Um, I think it may be time for Steve-O to do the same. Otherwise, you might be ruining it. Um, but again, it's all about the captaincy picks. I mean, he hasn't got his team wrong. He's just, I mean, Steve-O. Who's your captain on at the moment for game week six? Just you know, Salah. Salah. You can, yeah, I mean. But if I was to do my transfers, it would be a Bamiang. Mm. But I, I, I'm i sorry, but I've made this decision. I'm telling people now I, I am going with whatever the history says captaincy wise. It got it right this week again. It got okay. it. It said, it said the best captaincy options uh, for the particular players chosen was and um, Salah. Salah or Trent Alexander Arnold. Yeah. Yep. Okay. I know Mane. History suggested you may want to avoid, but you know it's still got yeah. a captaincy it's choice right, and that's right five, way. yeah, five game weeks in a yeah. row now. And I'm sorry, but I think someone posted on Twitter that Sterling versus Watford has got something like five goals and two appearances. <laughs> so if the history tells me that, I'm going with it. I'm right. sorry, Jason, but yeah, it's got to be done. There we go. Right, thank you ever so much, um, Andy, for being on with us this evening. No bother. Cheers, buddy. No bother. We're going to get through See the quarters. Um, we've got FPL Hot Sauce. It's been waiting for a while. Let's get FPL Hot Sauce online. FPL Hot Sauce, are you there? Oh, yeah, you're good, mate. You're... Yeah, not too bad, buddy. How's, um, how's your team looking for uh, well, for this game week? How's it been? How's it performed? Yeah, steady away. Um, I'm on, well, I've got two playing tonight. Currently on 51, so... Got Have you posted your team in the... Um, I'll find your team. You're in the cash league, aren't you? Yeah, I'm 14th, I think. Nice. Very, very nice positioning there. Are you confident uh, mo- moving... Um, catching that uh, fourth play- place spot? Not necessarily after tonight, but just moving forward in general. Yeah, because I think I... Uh, like say I'm trickling along. I'm not posting in massive scores. I- it's a I've nice team. The previous caller, I'm, I've been getting my captains right. I mean, they're just delivering. They're not the best captains I could have picked, but I've only had the one captain blank this season, and that was on Kane. But every, every other time, my captains delivered, and, and you've absolutely hit the nail on the head. That's the reason why I'm kind of just floating in a nice yeah. area. So. Yeah, because especially when teams are so similar. I mean, I'm looking at your team now. It's yeah. the same names. Same names. You've got Mason Mount, Salah, Dinya. I mean, okay, Walker's di- a differential that you've got, but then when they're not when they're not keeping clean sheets, it's all the same anyway. You've got Pookie in there. Um I mean you have gone with you know, you have gone with the Adrian picking goal again. It's the defence haven't really been doing anything anything for anyone, but your captain's paid off. I mean Aguero did score. Um, you could have gone with Salah and get a few more points, but I mean, ultimately, um, you've got to be happy with your team going forward. Yeah, I am. And if you notice as well, I've, I have actually got the two transfers in the bank, which I think, given that team, is quite an advantage because I think a few people have yeah. used the similar players have had to use and take hits. So, what are you? Um... Have you got any thoughts about what transfers you may do? Because I'm looking at this team and what sticks out to me personally is just really it's your defence that needs sorting, personally. Yeah, yeah. so I'm looking at, I mean, just using one transfer, I think I might... The only trouble is I've got Pookie and Campwell starting for this game week and I feel like I need to move off Adrian. I've got a luxury transfer, so I was thinking of just putting Adrian down to a four. 
the starting Pope. Um, and the end of the day, I'd rather Pukki and Campwell score or assist and Pope can lose his clean sheet. I'm sure he'll pick up a few saves. I'm not too bothered. So I'm thinking of doing that. I'll eventually get Walker to Trent Alexander-Arnold. What do you guys Mc... think of Dinier at the minute? Because Everton don't look oh, great at the back. I mean, know he's explosive. I mean, we don't look, we don't own Luca Digne necessarily for his his a clean sheet potential. No, we, we, we own him for his attacking and set piece potential uh, that he has in that team. And and believe you me, he's a mm. he's a vital asset to Everton. And um, I think he's set still. I don't think people need to worry just at, just at the moment. He does cost a bit of money. I didn't mm. he didn't get purged in my team surprisingly, um, but. Yeah, I don't think it's any time to panic just at the moment. Um, Steve-O, is, is Gilbert lost his clean sheet just yet? No. Oh, there you go. In well, fact, like I said... Uh, it, uh, I'd love it to be an 89th uh, minute goal. Nah, <laughs> just, probably just wouldn't surprise blow me. The wind, just, to, just to blow the wind at yourself. Um, tell end you, up Felipe Anderson or some random player that no one cares about, to be honest with you, it wouldn't surprise me. But I mean, Hotz yeah, has got Gilbert playing, but he's up against Alaire. So, yeah, he's up against yeah. I mean, Hotz. I, I mean, cool. from I a real life really perspective, your thoughts on uh, the Man United uh, uh, outcome on a uh, Saturday when they beat Leicester one 0 It just sums up the season. Um, you know, I fancied, I fancied the, maybe Leicester to get two goals that game, and just shows you they they pull out a clean sheet. So. They're just very unpredictable at the minute. I was surprised you went James, though, Jason, to be honest with you. Nah, very mate. surprised you put James in. I get the price point, but the mm. two best United assets are still wan and Rashford, and you obviously took measures to get them out. And then, because if you remember, <laughs> I, I come on, I come on and absolutely praised your wild card. And then I think I was like the first caller, and then after that, you just kept getting callers on who didn't like it, you didn't like it. And then I remember seeing your team um, for the Gillette Soccer Saturdays and it was it was there was quite a few wholesale changes. There there was. I, I mean and I been as crazy, but I get it. I get I get why the why I was you know the thing the thing is is I think I may have listened to too many people. Yeah. Um and I'm not I'm not blaming people's inputs believe you me I made the ultimate decision at the end of the day I I stuck with it and I thought it was a strong team but I I was bombarded with plenty of different opinions and this is the problem with the FPL community as a whole um, is that everyone's got their own opinion that they want to give you and Mm. and because everyone's got their own opinion they're going to clash and not only clash with your opinion, but clash with other people's opinions. And if you listen to everybody, you would never, you'd never make a team because you wouldn't be able to make a team. And this, this, this Holy grail 11 that people think that's out there, that if they can listen to thousands of people or get advice from all these people, there's, there's no win button in FPL. There's no guaranteed 11. That's going to bring you these points that you're after. And sometimes, sometimes you listen to listen to too much information and i think i just swapped too i I think i tinkered too much at the end of the day um and so be it now it's done now you live by the sword you die by the sword and i'm and 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 i've recognized i made a mistake that's the first thing i've said in this podcast i made a mistake in the wild card i'm man enough and big enough and ugly enough to know and to admit that i made a mistake so now this is me rectifying it the Sunday stream was just incredible. I was just, it was so surreal, so funny. I, you, I just heard you in because obviously you're not live streaming the um, the coin flip, you're just doing it for audio. You're like, it's heads, it's heads, and then Steve O's creasing. So it was, I think it, um, I you know, will... all our Sunday. Because I, this, I'll be honest, this is the first week where I was watching the scores come in. I was getting so annoyed and frustrated with players scoring because it seemed like, all the options sort of did well and do you know what I mean like even when Aubameyang got that break I thought oh of course he scored and you know there was a lot of that and, and I can see why so it was just a it was a straight in game week even when you got average sort of scores like myself it's still a bit you know um, 
I think no, no, no. <laughs> thank you, no. But thank you again for coming on to the Wildcard Show because I mean I, I will always remember that reaction from Steve. That when I when that coin literally, it it, oh, uh, it was. Yeah. This is the beauty of it. Completely spur of the moment. Literally tossed the coin. It landed on the floor and then flew underneath the desk. And I was like, what? And so, so that added it, yeah. added to the suspense. And I'm like, what's going on? I can't get the coin. steve was like at, in pieces at this point, like waiting to find out. And then when I said heads, like I think Steve-O, because if you watch the video back and steve you can admit this or not, but I think his ears pricked up to, at the sound of I me saying, on the last, yeah. when I said Big minus head. 16, he was like, oh, hang on. I sense an opportunity here. Jason yeah. is going to take a minus 16. Oh, okay, Jason. Tell me what these transfers are. Very good. Yeah, very good. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm still not in for anything. I'm still behind you. But that was funny. The chat was brilliant as well. Oh, Everyone the, the chat the, the, the chat, chat made it. Loomed up. The chat was just incredible. I, Everyone was like, well, I, well done for your head-to-head win next week if you're playing Jason and, you know, on the uh, head-to-head thing. It's just so funny. It, it was so it, much. It, Do a shot. But it was it was one hell of a moment, and let's hope it pays dividends yeah. because uh, I That's can't that. I can't I can't cope with another breakdown. Well, <laughs> t- t- talking of hits, uh, hot sauce. What are your thoughts on my potential transfer of uh, Abamian, Cantwell, and Rico in for Van Dyke, Sabellos, and Barnes? Oh, absolutely. I I think Cantwell, with the fixtures they've got in the next four or five games, is good enough to start. And I think for the price to get a starting player like him in. Um, and I agree, I think if you do it, Steve, or you should be putting in the captain for Aubameyang. I think yes. yeah. down the yeah. middle, he's, he's on pens. Lacazette is injured. I just think this is the only time you've got um, a surety that he's going to play through the middle. Um, they, they look full of goals. They, they tailed off against Watford, but they, they look like they can score goals. Um, so, you know, if they're winning 14. So, and it looks like uh, Rico's going to go up. Yeah, Rico's going to go tonight. up tonight. Tonight is he? Potentially, yeah. yeah, he will, mm. yeah he will. Really? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. He's still, he's still an option because he's put what, he goes to four point one and. Um, he played well actually, and he, he was taking corners. Well, so Eddie Howe has said that you know. You know that when he starts, he, he can. Yeah, go on. What did Eddie Howe say? I'm well, Eddie Howe it. said. I mean, this isn't word for word, but he pretty much turned around and said it's you know. It, He's, you know, he's worthy of that position this season. He's learnt a lot, um, and you know, it's it's looking promising. I mean, I'm not going to say now. I'm not going to commit that he's going to be a guarantee. But with the, um, you know, with the injury to Daniels, um, it's, yeah, so... I think that I think he's got a good shout. I mean, it's um, yeah. I mean, it's for, it's four million at the end of the day. You know, yeah. I think they're good. I think they're good moves, then, Steve. I think. It's get it done and then relax as they, what, I can't see, well has the Bamiyan got a midweek game he's got a Champions League game yeah and they'll have Europa League yeah but he may not he may can not he the other two? can you get I suppose the whole point of the transfers get all three and I suppose you don't really want to be doing Rico just catch the price right so yeah I don't know well like well, I said I, I can I, I, I would still have point one in the bank sorry I could I could get the price rise that's fine I can mm. still I can still hold off uh, just in case, but it's the worry of a Bamiang and Cantwell going up in price again True. Um, yeah. before yeah. Thursday. That's the issue. Because I just realised it's only Monday. So if Rico goes up tonight, I've then got zero in the bank. Mm. And then there's the risk of Cantwell and a Bamiang going up by 0.1, and then I've missed out on that particular transfer. Oh, I think about hold on a minute. Go. Oh, we got a red card. Masawako has been sent off to oh, West Ham. God. Well, God. wow. Masawako has been sent off for West Ham, but that means absolutely nothing because West Ham can still get a goal out of nothing. Uh, well, yeah. that, that that strengthens uh, Gilbert's position now. I would imagine. You'd be I happy. Think I was hoping. Yeah, I was hoping for six points out of them. Well, eight points out of two of them. I was either hoping for. Clean sheet or just a hollow goal would have done. So I think the clean sheet's likely now. Well, you said, well, we've got twenty-five minutes to go. Yeah, got plenty, of time, plenty of time. Um, straight red, straight red. 
I don't know. Is it a straight red? Do you know what? Yeah, I think I, it is. I'm right. Doing the transfer. Right. I'm going to do it. I think in honour. Yeah. In honour of Jason. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to do the transfers. I'm just. Yeah, it's, I'm it's, doing it. It's rubbing off, chat. It's rubbing off. I'm doing it. I'm oh, doing this transfer right now. So for everybody listening, it's Rico. Cantwell, Abamyang in, Ashley Barnes, Sabellos, and Van Dyke out. Amazing transfers. I'm, uh, Absolutely amazing transfers, yeah. dude. I can't believe you even considered, you know, worried about it, to be honest with you. Yeah. No brainer, Absolutely no brainer. Right. Here we go. You've gone from three sort of average players there. That's probably not. I don't plan to get in a clean sheet this week, you so. This is it's done. Putting in your captain heavy hitter up front. And Campwell will probably do something again. Yeah. yeah, I like it. I like right, it. that transfer is officially done. There we go, guys. Nice. I'm only minus 12. I'm losing my, only losing 12 <laughs> points now to steve Happy days. Happy days. Right. Um, thank you ever so much, Mr. Hot Sauce, for coming on this evening. We look to hope to speak no, to you yeah, again. Thank you, yeah. Um, yeah, pleasure, boys. Thanks, you take it easy, up. my friend. Um, yeah, speak soon, boys. Speak soon. Too. Take care. Awesome, dude. Let's bring Anarag on. I know he's been waiting for ages. Anarag, how are you doing this evening? Oh, 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 hold on a minute. Oh, all right. Hello. Hello. Yep. Uh, very, very, right. So, Anarag, your team has been posted in the Discord screenshot channel. Uh, you already know my transfers. Right. I can hear Steve. Just letting you know. You can, probably. He's just not speaking at the moment. Uh, so, Anarag. Remind the chat what transfers you did. Son and Kane out, uh, Haller and Sterling. Oh. Ah, you were the one that got rid of Son. Right. Right. But I captain Salah, not Sterling. Oh. You've For got... the fifth in a row. Yeah, it's. Would you... Who would you have captained if you would have kept Kane and Son in? Still Salah. You still would have captain, right? Okay. Um, it's got you. Got to be disappointed. Are you eating? Yeah. All right. Okay. Um. So, take a break from your food at the moment, then. So, yeah. so you're not chewing away on your. What are you eating? Anything nice? Yeah, just chicken and rice. <laughs> um, going forward. I'll get your big tuna. <laughs> I'm planning only transfer. I'm potentially planning is getting Cantwell for the donker. I have 1.2 in the bank, so price rise doesn't really matter to me. Right. Um, I don't think you need to make a transfer. I think you're set for for game week six. Yeah. Um, you've stuck with I'm giving Sterling. Now. I'm giving Sterling exactly two games. Two I'm giving games. him the UCL game and the Watford game. If he blanks in both, he's out of my team. <laughs> game week seven. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Uh, fair enough. Um. I would suggest that. Yeah. Save the transfer. Um. If, if possible. And. Um. You know. Give Give Sterling the chance. I can't believe you're saying giving the Sterling the chance. But. I mean. Who would you get in place of Sterling if you if Sterling doesn't pass your test? Mane or Son. Bring Max on. Or go triple. Go double Mane Salah. Ooh. I think it's got to be Mane, personally. Mane, Salah. Yeah, I, well, I, I think Son is just as deadly, really. I mean, um, I th but for the price, I mean, Son's cheaper um, and will allow you to to free up money to to upgrade elsewhere. I'm looking at that team and I think, um, yeah, it's you, you haven't got the, a lot of money in defence there and... Haller, I'd see. I don't. I'm not with this Haller now. I'm. I'm thinking, no. There's better options. Um, Abraham, maybe. But after <sighs> Liverpool. Yeah, yeah. I. I think I'd prefer Abraham just because he's in a Chelsea team, um, with with a lot of support. I know you've got Mountain already. I think steve has been talking about Abraham as well. Um. I I don't know to save the transfer and assess how Sterling performs. That's that's the best thing for you, isn't it? And um, yeah, I can't believe that I'm trying to give advice after taking a wild card and then minus sixteen. But that's just my opinion. And um, yeah. but yeah, um, Steve, I want anything else you want to add to that? 
No, not at all. I think um, I think you've answered everything uh, brilliantly from Alan Rag. And uh, I, like I say, I think that uh, having Marnie in for for Sterling, if uh, Sterling does do absolutely nothing, the Marnie the next Salah double up. Yeah, yeah uh, that's what I would personally have. Yeah, remember that from last year. It worked really well. Yeah, thank you ever so yeah. much, Anna. Appreciate it, buddy. Get back to your rice and chicken. Yeah. Take care, dude. Um, yes, Boone has just joined us. It's uh, in 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 channel. So, Boone, are you there? Good evening. Oh, Ale, close. Play me now. <laughs> All right, mate. Well, I, I had Anderson, and he's bloody been subbed off because of that red card. They had to get a defender on, didn't they? So they sacrificed my player. <laughs> well, that'd be fun. Well, my interest in this game's finished. Oh dear, oh dear, Booner. If you think you've had it bad, mate. <laughs> no, nothing as me. bad as you, mate. You Look lost your, you lost, you lost your head last night. I, I loved every second. I, of I didn't lose my head. <laughs> I've done a calculated I mean, it move. made for amazing you know it was amusing I've done a calculated a transfers I've done calculated oh mate transfers. there's there's no calculation in that at all mate honestly mate you minus can't... 16 for three players and you've got rid of Sterling yeah yeah, yeah. it's fine don't worry <laughs> mate, I brought Pookie back in it's fine <laughs> no mate you can't ig- you can't you can't ignore the coin you could yeah yeah you could do um, but Pookie could get a hat trick just as easy, and I didn't own him. Hello. Yeah. Sorry, did you say something? I just my phone just went off. Yeah, it's just as easy that a Bamyang or Pookie could easily get a hat trick this the next you know game week six as well. It's there's it's, it's if some buts. Hey, isn't it? Pookie's Pookie's going to be West Ham all over again this week, just as you get him in. Honestly, that's the way FPL works. Anyway, you should know that, Jason. Yeah, well, I, I I like to have a bit of fun, and if you can't have fun, if you can't have fun, then why play the game? And uh, yeah, no, no, absolutely. Um, but Buna, um, your interest in the game's finished. Uh, Felipe Anderson's returned you. Actually, no, the clean sheets. Three. Yeah, there you go, mate. It's three it's, points. Yeah, and you, six you, from you, Cantwell. Yeah, but you've you've guaranteed your clean sheet point. There you go. Yeah, well, I've got Cantwell coming off the bench, so it's not all bad. There you go. I want to ask. Where are you in the? Um, yeah, where about the are you? Uh, I'm. I potentially could. I'm 52nd at the moment. I could make top page by the end of tonight. Oh, what, brilliant! Are you going to overtake me? So, no. I think I think I'll be two points behind you after your hit. After two my point. hit. Yeah. Yeah. After. So so so, so literally, after. everyone's thinking like I've made the worst decision in my life. Actually, you're a great FPL player. Steve-O's a great FPL player. I'm still keeping up with you guys. Don't go that far, mate. You were like 50 points ahead of me at one point. So two points is nothing, mate. I'm I'm so happy. I'm telling honestly. you. I'm telling you now. 50 points still is nothing, and that's how I look at it from this point on. I still look at it from this point on. I keep spouting on about it. I'll keep saying it. And the chat can say, stop going on about how far away you are from the top 50K or the top 10K. But 46 points away from the top 10K. 50 points away from the top 6K. 32 points away from the top 50K. It's so Literally, tight still, isn't it? I'm not bothered. It's so close. I'm mate. honestly not bothered. And honestly, I couldn't care less what people think because... <laughs> whatever i think you care a little bit i don't mate i don't that's why i did it that's why i did it because it was um... i mean the shades are on you know the hater shades are on so there must be a little bit of care there jason <laughs> um no no in all seriousness um you know in all seriousness you're, i've you're, been watching the game the, you're getting the green arrows right that's the main thing Oh, well, I'll just about get a green arrow this week, and that's with a score of 60 minus 4. The average is already 49, so I imagine it'll be about 52 by the by the end of this game week. But yeah, um, my team aside, you know, just to give you an analysis on tonight's game, been watching it, and yeah. player that stands out for me is McGinn. Yeah, he's been absolutely unreal, mate. Like he's been everywhere, and he's you know he's probably had about three or four shots all on target. Right, that's um, it. I should do a transfer now. Let's, let's bring McGinn in for Dan James. <laughs> no, I'm you wouldn't. Uh, um, no, but, no, but talk to me about your team going forward. Um, let me bring it back up again because I've stupidly gone off of it. Um, how are you set for game week six? 
yellow card for Mings. Um, how am I set for game week six? I want to bring Son in. Thank you. I'm for just sub. unsure. Oh, just unsure who to bring in. Talking of Tottenham, Boona, uh, Aurier. Thoughts on him? I think it. I think. I think it's his to lose now. Honestly, let's see who he. Um, Poch has said in his. Um, in it, one of his recent interviews after the Palace games, that people would be silly to, you know, question the fact that we'll probably rotate in Champions League. So I can see Aurier maybe being rested midweek and Walker Peters or someone else potentially coming in, um, which means Aurier should be nailed for the weekend. And he put in quite a good performance he did. at the weekend. He put in at he honestly that was the Aurier that we purchased. So if he can. Be consistent with that. That could be really good value. I think he's down to 4.9 as well. Do you regret bringing so, Kevin Walker Peters yes, into your team? Uh, no, because I don't have a Kevin Walker Peters. I've got a Kyle. That's what but, I meant. Um, if that's he, play, he, play, he plays like a Kevin. <laughs> he plays like a Kevin. So they're, right, I'm not going to. I'm going to call him. I'm gonna, yeah, right, okay. Um, Super Kevin Walker Peters. But um, <laughs> yeah, I do regret being, bringing him in, obviously. Um, but. It's not being the end of the world. He'll, he, I might get rid this week. <laughs> I might do Anderson and um, Walker Peters out, and I'm not sure who I'd bring in. Probably maybe Iwobi and Coleman, something like that. Wow, Iwobi, I've been absolutely mate, ripped for mate, bringing Iwobi in. No, 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 you shouldn't. Mate, I watched the game. I watched the Everton game on Sunday. Yeah. I don't know why you're getting ripped because he had two, three clear-cut chances that were saved. It's not as if he wasn't involved. He was more involved than Sigurdsson. Sigurdsson got subbed off after like sixty-something minutes. Oh, really? So if we're talking, if we're talking value for money, I don't think we need to be laughing at Iwobi right now. Like, I think mm. he could do well still. But okay, um, Sabayos, Sabayos is out the question at that price point, in my opinion. Um, and the only other option at that price point I'm interested in now, given today's performance, is McGinn. definitely McGinn. Yeah. He's been unreal, mate. Honestly. He could score against Arsenal. That defence is terrible anyway. Yeah. Yeah. It's um no, I I I, I respect that. I personally haven't really considered McGinn. I know he's a flair player. He's pretty much a, a I think he, he drives well, I haven't seen the game tonight, but I'd imagine that, that everything everything that Aston Villa are doing is kind of going through McGinn, is that right? Oh yeah, hundred percent. Him, the playmaker. Um, he's a playmaker. He, mate, he's a playmaker, but he's getting back defending, putting all these tackles, and he's everywhere. What bonus? I don't point, know. He's not what's, the bonus point, card, what's the bonus points looking like at the moment for that game? Absolutely no Fabianski idea. Fabianski is on. Fabianski three. will be on like seven or McGinn's something. not even. Given how well he's done. McGinn's not even there. But yeah, okay. Oh, fair he wouldn't be. Would he? Wow, he's depends. not done anything. Yeah, you got Fabianski uh, three. Yeah. Mings will be two and Engels and Federicks maybe no, one each. This is it. Look, what what does this mean to me? Felipe Anderson is right up there for BAPS because of the chances he's created. He's on 21. He's not going to get any BAPS. Got no goal, no assist. Yeah. I'm going to get rid and he's going to go and score against United because he scored his history against United, steve He scored home and away last season. There's but your don't answer. Don't do it. it. No, I've got it. He's terrible. But you're right. I know. No, it's a tough one. It's... Can I ask? Can I ask as well, Boona? You just remind me regarding history. You were the one that said that you were going to be listening to the history and whoever it advises you to captain, and yet you, you had didn't. Salah. Well, I didn't, yeah, have you Salah. didn't go with him. Captain Sterling. He, yeah, even Mane. Well, I didn't have... Yeah. No, but he. Yeah, well... but he technically did listen because Mane. It, yeah. It, it was. Well, it was yeah. the whole captain Salah or or Trent, and he didn't own either. So he technically, he did listen to the history. Um, wow. I can't wait for your history lesson um, on th- Thursday because yeah. Sterling it's... scored five in his last two against Watford. Yeah, I mean that. So that for me... I'm actually oh. so tempted to triple captain him. <laughs> I, mm-hmm. I think he's he's burnt everyone. People are wanting to get rid of him. You just know what, you know, it's written in the scripts what's going to happen. It's so obvious. I've got rid of him. City are going to absolutely the fact pummel that, Watford. The fact that I got rid of him. Pep's going to be seeking me. blood. Um, mate, City are going to destroy Watford. Honestly, watch. I've said it. Well, hopefully, Aguero outscores Sterling. That's all I'm going to say right now. Um, but yeah, I think Sterling is a great pick. I really want to get Son in. Oh, Ooh. yeah, I would love to have Son in, but it's like you can't have them all. And who would you who would you drop? 
That's the question. Who well, would you drop? that's it. Who would I drop? It has to be Marnie or De Bruyne. De Bruyne or De Bruyne. Do you think no. dropping De Bruyne is a bad move? I yes. think. I think uh, out of the two, Marnie and De Bruyne, with the team that you've got at the moment, just for a straight swap, De Bruyne. Yes. <coughs> oh yeah. Um, ooh, without, well, I. I don't know. I'd probably get rid of. Any drink. Sterling for Sun. No, no, no. Sterling, Sterling, staying. You stay. 100%. Right. Okay. All right. Well, this fixture, I think Sterling and Aguero are going to do so well. Mm. So I want to get Son in this week because the following week is Southampton at home and I'm going to that game and then I'm going again a few weeks after with Brew to Watford at home. So oh, my plan is to get Son in this week and then Aguero to Kane next week when Aguero plays Everton. So I'll have Son and Kane for when I go to the game. That's going to be good fun. Sorry, sorry to interject, Boona, but I know you're going to want to stay live on here. Jason, Andy Salter is right. there. I know, fan- I know Fantasy Football <laughs> Focus is there. Calm down, Fantasy. We'll bring you on. But uh, Andy Salter's got a lot to talk about. And um, we're all going to sit back. I'm going to continue listening to the game. And uh, you two can um, have a discussion. Have a, pr- have a friendly conversation. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know what he wants to talk about my team for, but okay. You want to introduce him in? Uh, good evening, Andy. Welcome to tonight's Elite FPL review show, looking and reflecting over the last game week. Uh, you saw last night Jason taking a minus 16. You had a wonderful discussion regarding him having his wild card last week. Your thoughts on um, what's happened since, Andy? You just need to unmute your microphone. Go on, Andy. The nation is listening. We've been waiting for this moment for the past two hours. Shall we go with Fantasy Shy. Football Focus? We'll bring him on in a minute then. Let's bring on Fantasy Football Focus. So, Andy, if you are listening, uh, can you please uh, unmute your microphone and we'll be able to have this uh, friendly discussion. But uh, Fantasy Football Focus, you are live on the Elite FPL Review Show. Good evening. I'm back again, guys. Hello. Yes, you are. You are indeed. And uh, uh, you've got a, a cracking score of 53. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And it's the same as always. If your captain hits, the rest of your team don't. Oh, mm. It's one of them ones. You can't have it all, can you? But I am happy with that, guys, I must say. Uh, Firmino obviously coming in with the points there. Allaire not done much at all tonight. He may still pop up with a goal. I keep constantly hearing that uh, Villa are in and around, uh, sorry, West Ham are in and around the box occasionally, which is a bit worrying considering they've got 10 men. Uh, just look at this team here and it's... It... Right, here we are. Villa, West Ham in the box again. <laughs> Nothing. It's okay. We that's another. That's another thing. That's off. another thing. That's another thing, Jason. To add to your original team, you'd have had Tom Heaton playing as well. So <laughs> uh, let's let's not talk about what if some but any, yeah. and what would have happened. But but how how are you feeling with this team moving forward? Uh, fantasy football. Gilbert's players? off. Apparently, he's going to be guaranteed clean sheet. Hey? Gilbert Is guaranteed he? clean sheet. Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, really? Well, that's what Paul J said. I don't know. So. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's everybody's just, yeah. It's anyway, anyway, just, anyway. So that's, that's a bonus. Um, fantasy nice. football focus. I'm bringing your team up now on the screen. Um, ah, wild yes, card, yep, 53 yep. points with a wild card. Man A captain. <sighs> About that, pretty much was, that's pretty much your points. Um, that, yeah. I mean, other than Firmino, yeah, it's been a team of blanks other than Firmino and Mane, who's your captain. So you've absolutely nailed your captain choice. If you hadn't have nailed your captain choice, you'd have been down there with myself in the 30, you know, the 30, 35, well, the, the late 30s, you know, and it's who would you have captained other than Mane? Would have been probably would have been what? De Bruyne? Yeah, exactly, exactly him. Um, wow, uh, wow. Well, obviously. Fine margins, my friend, fine margins. 
Yes, indeed, because I actually took Sterling out and just thought that De Bruyne will do enough this season to keep up. Um, maybe not goals-wise, but definitely assists. Um, and then I could seek goals elsewhere. But yeah, what a flop he had. Well, people are um, saying that your Pepe pick's a bit puntish. What would you say to those people? Um, totally agree with them, but I am keeping the faith. I think last game... It wasn't Pepe's fault. Watching the game, I don't think we gave him enough through balls or play to, to do what he's good at. Um, I think he'd be better in a more end-to-end -end game. And I think we missed Lacazette holding up the ball because he always plays a Bamiang and Pepe in. He'll play them in. He's vital for us. But I think even if we had Lacazette, Watford would have still been going for it. Um, and can I just say, guys, I think Watford are back and back to the team that are not whipping boys. They are back this season now. OK. What makes you say that? Because <laughs> they scored against um, a leaky Arsenal defence. No, just because of their determination, the way they played, they fully deserved the win. Arsenal were their own downfall, but Watford are back to one of them teams where it's Whoever you play in the Premier League, you can't be, you know, laps in concentration at all. They're, they're right back in it, Watford. I don't think Arsenal are a barometer for to, to say Watford are back. You know, I mean, it's probably one of the worst defences in the league, if we're being honest. Yeah. Um, in fact, totally, have yeah, to there was some, um, so, I mean, someone wise. put up a point in a chat. I think it was FPL Aguero. I can't. Um, we're doing it. Arsenal, uh, yeah, have, it was... Arsenal have let the most amount of shots yeah. in the in Premier League against them, 31. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's, it's terrible. Not, yeah, not no, a nice was... stat. Awful. Well, was there was terrible. an even worse a stat um, that I read regarding Arsenal and it, it, basically my favourite... Um, I just I just love the where's... picture. I love the picture of the horse. Have you seen it on, on Reddit and... Like the the beautiful hand drawn picture of the horse at the front and at the back, it's just like, well, yes, it's like a yeah. two like a two year old has drawn it and it, it's, it's it's like Arsenal, you know they've got David Luiz's hair. <laughs> um, it's yeah, it's what just were you saying mess. about what what were you saying about the stats? Sorry, Steve. No, it's um, oh, can carry on talking. I'll bring it up in a minute. Okay, so your team going forward, oh. are you happy with your yep. team going forward? I am happy with my team going forward. Um, but now Pepe is possibly a bit of a doubt, but I can't really shift away from him at the moment. So I'm going to have to keep faith with him. Um, mm. And then Sabalos is, is said to be the assister to the assister. I, I think that these nice playing players, Pepe, Sabalos, great on the eye, love twist and turn. I think Watford gave him that physical Premier League aspect and they couldn't deal with it mm. and that's the truth um, and Arsenal's defence I am praying that holding Bellerin and Tierney come back in and, and bloody sort out David Luiz's hair, get him out of the squad he's doing my head in um, Mustafi was just as bad, they bring in Luiz and it hasn't corrected the issues there at all it's, uh, mm. it's very worrying so those um those two um statistics from this particular game are quite extraordinary. Uh, so football three six five they put up twenty ridiculous statistics that came out of that particular game. Oh, possible penalty? No. Ah, oh. hasn't been given. Could go to VAR. Could this would be VAR. for Aston Villa. Oh. But... Wesley's no, tossing it hasn't been given. Um, yeah, so there's two ridiculous instances. Arsenal yeah. allowed Watford 31 shots on Sunday. We know that, which is the most they have faced since Okta started gathering such data in 2004. Uh, in the second half alone, Watford equaled their record for shots on goal in a single game since they returned to the Premier League in 2015. <laughs> their previous record was for 90 minutes which was 23, and they were against West Ham, Sunderland and Hull. I mean, those two statistics alone just sum up what happened yesterday. Uh, friends yeah, at work absolutely. were telling me that 
Arsenal were, and they were Arsenal fans, that Arsenal were an absolute, defensively, uh, just an absolute joke. Yeah, they were an absolute joke. And Dilafeu was tearing his bit. He was loving it. Straight down there, cutting inside, getting the shot away every time. And eventually, you could see that that oh, was where it was going to go. That could be a yeah. penalty. Oh, what happened? Could have been a penalty for West Ham, but uh, it's been not given. It's just not been given. Oh, please, goodness, VAR, sorry. please, come in. Don't be silly. Oh, penalty? No, 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 no. no. No, oh, not, people, people, are what, people are obviously catching up with it. Steve is like two minutes ahead on the radio. Um, no, it's fair <laughs> enough. Um, let's see if we can bring Andy Salter in because we're getting up towards time now. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Fantasy Football Focus, for joining us this evening. That's all right, guys. Pleasure. See Cheers. You soon. Cheers now. Bye. Andy Salter, are you going to unmute your mic? Here he is. I think he's Good evening. Here. Good evening, Mr. Salter. You're, How are you doing? You're live on the Monday night review of game week five, where we are discussing how our teams have done. And um, would you like to um, start off by uh, basically letting us know how your team's done? Oh, I had a terrible week. I've had a terrible... I posted my team in... Where did you post it, sorry? In the uh, Rate My Team. Okay, one moment. I'll just bring it up. And I, and I need uh, I need your um, advice. You need my uh, advice. Uh, I, I don't know if you want my advice. Yeah, no, I, do. I need your advice on what I should do, whether I should uh, uh, make any transfers, knee jerk reactions. Uh, Take a hit. I probably I probably play your game and how how you do it and not listen to other people's advice. What, no, Andy, what, so uh, literally looking at your team, um, is there any is there any real need to do any knee jerk reactions? Well, no, I, I I'm thinking of I'm, so I'm thinking of Trent. Uh, Trent uh, looked uh, attacking. I, I don't trust, uh, um, but but Trent attacking. Potential uh, for me is a uh, is a uh, from Van Dyke, or it depends. It depends because I, I I'm get a terrible game of the week. Um, Andy, uh, I I don't know why, but every every like second word yeah. you're breaking up for for me. Uh, um, is it the same for you guys? As yeah, well? it's the same for me. Yeah. yeah. Um, I d don't know. Are, are you um on four G or Wi Fi at the moment or something? I don't know. No, no, it's uh, I, I switched the TV off. Yeah, okay. Well, hopefully, hopefully, it'll be all right now. Um, Try and persist. I mean, any time that someone, I mean, Trent Alexander Arnold, we all know, is a top FPL asset. I mean, last season he he was just an absolute monster, returning assists, um, clean sheets. I'm at the moment Liverpool are looking a very shaky at the back. Um, uh, he. Some people would argue that he was at fault to that Williams goal. I don't. I think it's a bit harsh saying that he was responsible for it. I think it was just a thunderbolt that came in, um, unexpected. Adrian had no chance to save it. I think if you're looking at bringing Trent Alexander-Arnold into your team, that's an instant upgrade for definite. Um, but I mean, uh, what funds have you got in the bank? Yeah, I, I've got one point four in the. 1.4 in the bank. Yeah, I mean... Jason? Yeah. Sorry to interject here, but... Uh, oh, we've got Manchester Reds in the chat right now. And he had Fabianski playing tonight. And he's just going to miss out on top spot by, I think, about four points. Because show me the Mane had McGinn and Yarmolenko that both got three points each. <laughs> so that's six. Um, the deficit was only... Four, um, how many points was it? Uh, uh, six points. So yeah, uh, Manchester Reds. Terence Levy is probably going to end up second. Uh, yeah, and it's going to be so tight between him and a uh, Wayne Hanley. I th I could th be like a, that's six. That, I mean, it's so so tight at the top at the moment, and Manchester Reds is going to be loving life uh, for gain. You know, to make those gains. Um, oh, Andy Salter, I just want to say that 
you were right. The wild card didn't pay off. You said it wasn't going to pay off. You said that you questioned a lot of my transfers. I would. It, no, cer- it, cer- it, cer- it certainly wasn't eight nil well, to to Man City. And no, I, um, I predicted that would not happen. I said to you, never eight nil. And I did not think um, that your team warranted um, oh, okay, taking yeah. a loss. Okay. I, I said that. Um, but, but so you, on the uh, end of last week, you, um, the, the way forward was uh, three Man City attack. Um, and I see you're, you've now done a minus. And you probably bought out, you've taken out the... the um, the player that's probably going to score the most in the uh, whole uh, of uh, the, uh, the season. Okay, uh, and Sterling. And Sterling. Yeah. So, so what, what's your what's the reason? Exactly. Wow. Um, I just think Abamyang's going to outscore him over the next four to five game weeks. But you didn't say that last week. At the end of last week, you said that this was the way forward. I had always planned to downgrade Aguero originally to Aubameyang. Mm. Okay. But unfortunately, um, well, or fortunately, um, after seeing that game, and I, I mean, just <laughs> Sterling made some great runs. He was close. He, he hit the post, of course. Um, but I just feel more confident owning Aguero. Um, over Sterling with having a Bamiang in my team, and that's just that's just my gut feeling. And again, um, I completely see where you're coming from. I can, and I think the majority of people would agree with what you're saying. But do you know what? Um, I've got a bowl of trifle in front of me, and it's quite symbolic because trifle <laughs> is a very lovely dessert. And another word for trifle, trifle means things of very little significance or importance. And I cannot explain it more than the fact that I am literally not bothered about what happened with the wild card. I'm looking forward. Um, I'm still not at... I mean, people are making it sound as if I've literally destroyed my team um, and, and put myself now at a massive disadvantage. I still think that I've got a very solid team and I've got a few differentials in which I think will perform very well. And the Pookie move, I make, I made a mistake. I don't know if you heard me, Andy Salter, but I said I made a mistake with my wild card. I will put my hands up. It was a rash move to do. I made it. I, I made the wrong decision, and I recognise that. And this is my chance now to put that decision behind me. With that, with this, with these moves that I would have had to do because I would have been priced out of. And I just want to know if take you know put the put the minus sixteen aside. Is my team, in your opinion, stronger now than it was before? Well, first of all, with the with the pucky on and off the train more than <laughs> if I'm honest, because uh, first you were on it, then you're so you must have you must have lost um, uh, value on the uh, pucky. That's the... yeah. Um, the second thing is you, you've uh, wild, you've made a minus 16 um, but I still think uh, you're there's too much there's too many players in there that are going to call you keep, you keep keep cutting out I think what you're saying is my team before the wild guard is still better than what my team is now is that right? I think you still have big issues in let me get my team up just again so people can see what I've done. Um, just, 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 just a quick your, your thing, Jason. Is, your defence is rubbish, in my opinion. My defence is rubbish. No, it's ravaged. It's totally ravaged. Rav- I, ravished. Ravaged, yes. I, I, for me, I, I, uh, I, I would... Uh, if I explain your team, um, it reminds me of um, somebody saying we give you ten thousand to buy a nice uh, suit. You go out and you buy a nice amount, a nice uh, shirt, um, a nice tie. You go to the wedding, uh, looking sharp, have a great. 
Um, a week later, you, you uh, get the wedding photo, uh, and you're sat there. You're stood in the. I really, I really want to hear this analogy. I really do, Andy, but you keep cutting out. I don't know what the issue is. I don't know if it's an internet issue or a mic issue. I get. I'm trying to. I'm trying to read between the lines of what you're saying. It's literally like wearing a suit tie and top with a pair of cheap jeans. I think that's what you're trying to get exactly. at. Exactly. Um, but but yeah. the, thing, the thing is, don't focus on my team because I'm a no, rival. No. Of, now, don't care about my team and what I do. I mean, I I certainly don't care what you do with your team. I would just give my opinion, which you're doing to me. Um, but I just, think that, I, I just think that I'm enjoying the game and I want to enjoy the game. Absolutely. And, Absolutely. and that's, that means more to me than 16 points. Believe you me, at this stage, at this stage of the season, enjoying the game means a hell of a lot more. You can't put a value on that. And, and I'm still above, still above a lot of people that I consider hardcore FPL players. Okay. I was in a great position a few, not, not only a few days ago, well, a few weeks ago in the top, in the top 50,000, but I'm still not a million miles away and it's not the end of my season. Making these transfers you know, has has improved my team. It will, only time will tell as to how this pans out. It's still very early days. My wild card still hasn't really panned out. And there's, an, there's a super chat coming in here um, for a currency that I don't even know. Um, I don't know what currency that is. Storm, Storm Gaming, um, thank you very kindly for that generous um <laughs> donation um <laughs> one defender pin for game week six except Zinya and what 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 what's the fun what's so funny <laughs> what, what's so funny steven <laughs> i'll have to tell you off air <laughs> right um but look jason i don't know if you i i'm cut your Right, but the thing is, these um, streams are great. Everyone loves these type of things, and, and it's you know um, all the other. Uh, I won't. Mention, they uh, give you good tips. Uh, people interact on the chat, and everything. Um, but it's nothing. This is entertainment. This is entertainment, not just for you, but for everyone in the community as. Well. Uh, and so all the banter is... Yeah, mate, I, I completely... Wanna... I, I don't take anything you say to heart. I'm not a perfect no, no, no. person. I'm not a perfect person. I don't know the answers to FPL. I certainly am not an expert. I'm far from an expert. I think um, I think at the end of the day, everyone recognises that we're not a tip show. Um, and the beauty of the, the community we've got is that we are here to share opinions. And I said it on the night that you came on, when I did my wild card, you, you pulled it apart. And I respect you for giving your honest opinion. I don't want you coming on here just basically echoing. Um, no, I will not. I will never do that. Yeah, yeah, no. And um, and and I think and I think it's, it's good been... entertainment. It's good entertainment. And uh, and this uh, show actually, uh, if I'm honest, takes away the customers from other streams that, that we, stream at we, the same time. We 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 we'd certainly don't focus on that we we don't care what other people do we're here just for you guys and whether we've got 10 people viewing or a thousand people viewing it's still going to be me and steve-o talking about the same the same things each week and getting you guys on um to talk about your teams and and it's just been a very unfortunate weekend to wild card on i think we can both agree on that can't we mr salter absolutely yeah. absolutely uh you know I want to um, say I want to say very quickly a thank you to Resi Desi who's donated mm. ten euros to help the Router Fund lads. Another cracking call in, and all those not in Discord to get in. Well, actually, on that note, I've just upgraded my internet to um, BT Superfast Plus, which is seventy six download, twenty upload. So my internet should touch wood never have any problems. But um, but of course with Discord and with with purely the, the the connections of multiple people, there's always going to be a few hiccups, and we we know that. Um, and Stevo is working on and, and touch wood, Stevo's had no issues, but he has he is look, looking at options to um to make his connection hardline connection to his uh, his laptop in the near future. Andy Salter, 
can I bring your team up on the screen? Um, you you did post it in the um the yeah you here. can. Let me find yeah. it. Do you know? What? There you go. I think I found it here. Um, I'm going to put it up on the screen now, and I think it's just important that I I agree with what I, I think I I probably should have listened a bit more to you because you made some very valid points in the wild card that I feel that I dismissed a little bit too much, and I kind of went with my own. I went with my own excitement. So I was so excited about watching that uh, Man City Norwich game that maybe I was a bit blinkered. Um, and I completely respect um, everything you put brought to the show. But I'm bringing your team up now. Um, we talk about cheap defenders. This is this is way more balanced um, in terms of selection. You've got the unfortunate um, choice. Well, the unfortunate event of having Puki as first sub on your bench. Um, which which yourself and multiple FPL managers had the trauma of going through um, on the Saturday, but it's been a it's not been it's been a very unfortunate game week. We talked about captain picks being being the be all. I think I think I agree with Steve. I think the captaincy picks are so vital, um, especially when there's a lot of highly owned players in teams at the moment. What made you go with De Bruyne over Sterling? I, I talked in uh, Discord. The, you you the, were, uh, you were uh, thinking uh, he was going to be benched, weren't you? Yeah, I said... Uh, um, rotation. Yeah. I thought it would be uh, Sterling. Um, I thought City would uh, score... Uh, a number of goals. I didn't. Um, and I, I was more uh, confident. I was not brave enough to to captain Salah. I, I told people to captain. You I did, thought. and you told a friend of mine to captain. You scared someone that was 16th in the world. Do you remember when I? Do you know when I spoke to you and I said that people? Were yeah, there? yeah, I, I remember. You scared a friend of mine called Simon Bellamy into changing his captaincy from Sterling to Salah. And believe you me, you did him a favour, mate. <laughs> you, did him, you did him a favour. So, um, no, no, Andy, it's one of those game weeks. You just want to forget and put it behind you. You've still got your chips intact. You haven't wild carded like myself. Um, you're in yeah, advantage. I've missed four captains. I've missed... I, I, if, if I'd uh, hit four... Top ten thousand, so I, I miss four captains. Yeah, and that's that's killed me. That, that that's really yeah, it's it's it really matters, doesn't it? The captain picks. Uh, and this is why I, I got, you know, a template team. Um, it's not always a bad thing if you select the right captain. Yeah, it, it doesn't matter if you're, and you have to say a similar team, to people in front of you. You pick the right captain. You can make up the points. Yeah. You just need, you just need a captain. Yeah, look, look, at, look at Tammy Abraham. He would have returned you an extra 14 points if you had captained him. Yeah, would, you, would, you ever, would you ever have considered Captain Abraham? No, I don't it, think so. Exactly, it, but people would have. There would have been people out there that... They're not brave enough. The, 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 uh, the um, FBL uh, people that play regularly, yeah. that are really into the game... Uh, Abraham, they would not. Mm. No, it was, was no. going to be. It was going to be a city asset. If you owned Aguero, it was always. Yeah. Um, if you don't, if you didn't own Aguero, I had De Bruyne, Sterling, Salah. It was one of those three, and I, and I just I was worried about that. So I did not captain Sterling. Um, went for KDB, and of course he was. Yeah, it's, it's it's just unfortunate, mate. At the end of the day, and um, so Andy, we'll we'll try and get you with a better. Hopefully, the connection issue won't happen next time you're on the stream because it's been. I've I've managed to make out most of what you're saying, but it's just cutting out honestly after every other word. But thank you, buddy, for coming on. Um, it's always great to hear your opinion, and and we're pretty much um, pretty much done at the moment. I think I'll speak soon, Andy. Yeah, thanks. Uh, good. Uh, good. Yeah, you take care, mate. Um, Steve-O, do you want to go one more caller or do you want to uh, wrap it up? Uh, I think out of respect to former co-host Dan, I think bring on Dan to oh, hear about Arsenal, really. Dan's in the waiting room, is he? 
Yes, he oh. is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> didn't even didn't even see. Sorry. Hello, Dan. How you doing? Dan, I didn't even see you in the waiting room, buddy. How you doing? I'm all right. I'm just singing. <laughs> You're just singing, were you? What are you singing? I was, I was just, I was okay. Yeah, we... I, well, I'm singing in delirium, looking at my team, thinking to try and get a Wobian, but I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> it's I'm different... trying to get a Bamiang in my team. Oh, I've done that. You heard about, you obviously heard yeah, about the minus hard. 16. What do you think about that? Well, I've watched, yeah, I mean, I was just watching it and I couldn't, couldn't believe what I was seeing. Do, but you th- like, do you think I've gone mad? A little bit, yeah. But, I mean, you did a similar... Didn't you do something like that last season? Or am I just going nuts? I did, yeah. And guess yeah, what And guess what? So... it paid off as well? Yeah, it, I mean, it does. I mean, like you said, if you're not happy with the wild card, then <laughs> yeah. could pay, it could pay off in the long term. And it's almost like, in a way, you've got, got to rectify it now. So... Just had an average game week, average game, 49 points. So, you've had, you've had Tommy Eaton tonight team, right? play, you've had McGinn and someone else playing tonight, and they're doing quite well. Yeah, they've done, they've done all right. I mean, like I said, I, I did my wild card previously, and um, you just sort of save a transfer this particular game week. So, at the moment, I'm looking at taking De Bruyne out and Van Dijk out, and possibly Allaire. For a four-point hit, Ooh, yeah. Um, so that would leave me. I'd have a Bamiang, Pookie, obviously Greenwood is my like enabler, and then Salah, McGinn, Sterling, Mason Mount. I'm very pleased with, and then I've got twelve point seven in the bank for, well, a defender and a midfielder to replace Van Dyke and De Bruyne. So it does feel like you I'm tearing get rid my team of De Bruyne. Up, but... Oh, I've got. To, I don't know. Yeah, I've got to get the fundage in to get a Bamiang, but I don't know whether it's just like a bit, a bit too much, too much surgery. Wow. <laughs> whether I'm overdoing it. I can't exactly talk. I think um, getting a Bamiang in your team is. Oh, Kevin De Bruyne or a Bamiang? That's. I did Sterling. I did a Sterling out to afford a Bamiang. So, on that, I really have to. I have to say, get a Bamiang in. Yeah, I mean, I, I just don't want to take Sterling out. It's like I've said this thing all season with, St- with Sterling and Salah. It feels like I just haven't got the cojones to take them out. I haven't, even though Salah's you know, he's doing all right at the moment. But um, for 12.5, it's just I've got these two heavyweights in my midfield. And I'm just like... But De Bruyne has been on four, though. It's not his fault that he rested on Saturday. Like, I mean, he got bloody three assists and a goal for Belgium. And was playing really well for City before that so mm. not exactly I think, I think fault, Pep made a mistake didn't he I think he won't admit it of course oh, I know he's yeah we're tired <clears throat> modern football modern oh. football so I'm just I'm just looking at it now looking at it live I mean I was looking through all the the kind of 7 million midfielder options going forward um but like I said, the value is just not in defence anymore. So I'm just looking at some different options now. <laughs> Mkhitaryan, Sanchez, still there. The game. I, I certainly, Funny how the yeah. game doesn't get rid of these players. <laughs> <laughs> that was just the worst swap deal ever. Um, I, I don't think you really need... To... I'm going to go against what I've done. I don't think you need to take mm-hmm. hits. I really don't. I mean... If you're not willing to get rid of Sterling, you can't really get a Bamiang in, I don't think. Mm, it is an interesting one. Wilfred Zaha. I know he's not really... What, done year, what year are we in? But... No, but Zaha obviously was... Obviously was, you know... got They've got Wolves at home, they've got Norwich, and they've got West Ham away. And the fixtures turned a bit there, and it's more fixtures over form, but... I don't know. This is this is feeling like everyone's going on about Lanzini. But... That's that's a bit of a punt too much, to be honest. I think from the players you've got in at the moment, they're they're much better than Zaha. And um, feeling I... like a sort of thing I'd have done last season. That in it, just play, just pick a random player. Just cause yeah, I think. I think yeah. I mean, you're going off of what he did last year. I think the name of Zaha. I mean, <laughs> Stevo. I mean, taking out. De Bruyne, 
you know, downgrading a defender in Van Dijk, bringing in a, uh, a Bamiang for Haller. What's your thoughts? On no, that? Um, I, I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't do that. Not, not, not to get rid of one of the best players in the world for, for, for essentially bringing in. Okay, one of the best strikers in the world, but Haller is. You know, barring tonight, I think Alain's a perfectly good player moving forward and I wouldn't be getting well, I mean, rid of... I mean, I didn't watch the game tonight. Obviously, I've just been looking at the chat and touch of it that way, but I don't know how he played tonight. I mean, they've got United... Well, to be fair, and... West Ham didn't sound like they played well at all. But based on what mm. I was hearing in the game, it sounded like Aston Villa just... In fact, if anything, Aston Villa... Um, should have won by two, maybe maybe even three goals. I think Fabianski masterclass, uh, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so maybe maybe Aston Villa are going to be one of these teams that get relegated because they didn't take their chances in many games. I don't know. But yeah, mm. Aston Villa just didn't take their chances and West Ham didn't play that well. But they're playing Man United at home, which is which you can just see the ending, you know, West Ham winning that and Allaire getting in the in the points again. I mean, they've got Man U, then Bournemouth, Crystal Palace and Everton. They're not exactly the most difficult fixtures, if I'm honest. Blimey, you're really rubbing salt into the Man United wings this season, but we've turned uh, the useless. corner, mate. We turn, we turn the corner. Useless. We turn the corner. We scored a penalty. We're good. We're good now. <laughs> all these at the will. All these at the will. But yeah. yeah, I mean, obviously, I did the wild card the game week prior before the um, the international qualifiers, and um, you obviously did when you did, like you say, when you do the wild card, you set it up for. Several game weeks after you've you, you've activated it. Do you? Um, well, <laughs> all right. <laughs> yeah, I didn't yeah, get. I, 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 didn't, I, mean, I didn't get the memo. <laughs> I mean, I look at my wild card and I, I've, I don't know. I'm glad. I was glad I finally got onto the Pookie train and got. I'm pleased with Mount. Actually, that's someone that's paid off because I'm changed from my famous three four three to three five two. Um. And it's done okay, but yeah, I just feel like with our... I mean, I will say about the Arsenal game yesterday, that was just like... I know you had a couple of callers in yet last night about it. I mean, apart from Aubameyang, there's just nobody. I mean, someone was saying about Maitland-Niles. And yeah, I was saying about him last season. Maitland, last week, Maitland-Niles was just... Last week I was, was saying... Turned, he was getting done like a kipper all, all afternoon. I mean, <laughs> but then he's, he's not a right back. I mean, he just... Delefeu and all the other players were just doubling up on him and he wasn't getting any support and yeah okay he got the assist but oh, it's just I mean it was just a horror show um, I mean we've got good fixtures but I just hope that like, Holden can come back because I think he's been a big miss see how Bellerin will be after his injury and obviously Tierney's the new Robertson of Robertson apparently so um, oh, I don't know about that we'll see we will see but I don't know what to do with this team and I'm worried about price rises, so I might have to do my famous line and sleep on it. The thing is, to me, the Arsenal fullbacks can't... Like you say about like Tierney is a new Robertson, I think that Arsenal can't afford to have <laughs> their fullbacks bombing forward because their centre-backs are not reliable, you know, and they get caught yeah. out and they get caught out way... I mean, they... They was a, they can't play like Liverpool, put it that way. They can't play a high line because they'd be, it'll get done. They haven't, got, they haven't got the pace. They haven't got the pace to play high line. So it's the problem. To... The problem with us is, and I said this from the, I said this from the summer, is that the fact that we got these defenders in quite late, and you need to be organised in the defence in pre-season. Yeah, and you need to be working on those things during pre-season and getting in David Luiz late. I can't believe he's conceded two penalties already. I mean, the way he was, <laughs> his body shape. It nearly happened in the first half, actually. Um, but the player got past him. It was like Dilafeu, and he, the way his body shape was, it was like as if he wanted Dilafeu to to run past him. It was really weird. And then he did it again, obviously for Pereira for the penalty. And it was like you just think to yourself, this guy's played for Brazil and he's played for PSG and Chelsea. And it just, I, oh, I don't know. I think it's just like Chelsea just sort of give us their cast offs or whatever, and. They kind of like you know, do a number on us because it's not reliable. I mean, it just the problem with us is in midfield. It's like Xhaka and Torreira's been off the pace as well this season already. And Guendouzi didn't play well. It's just the centre midfield is not holding it together really. I think Emery just 
just thinks attack, 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 attack. But anyway, I know I know this isn't Arsenal fan TV, so I was trying. Yeah, I didn't catch I didn't catch up with Arsenal fan TV last night. I, I, I no. To be to be fair though, I mean, it's is it really unexpected? It. I mean. We all knew that. I mean, Arsenal obviously leaking you know, leaking goals, but also inviting the most amount of shots other than more than any other Premier League team. Do you, we were saying about this preseason, weren't we? Like even bringing in David yeah. Luiz, uh, nobody was confident on Arsenal <laughs> defence. And, and I said all along, it's all about on how that attacking line does. If they, it's it's almost like they need to score more than they concede. That's <clears> literally the game plan. Mm-hmm. Guys, go out there, score Me. as many goals as you can, because God knows how many we're going to let in. Yeah, I need Pepe to sort of... He needs, like one of your callers said yesterday, I can't remember the name of the caller, but he, he needs to get a goal. Um, sometimes he seems to be, like, over-elaborating when there's a Trying too hard. Option. Yeah, he's, I mean, he's got the pressure price tag. And it's a new league and big expectations. And, you know, it's understand. He's got the talent. He's just sort of got to, you know, um, get that goal to get his confidence up. But, yeah, I mean... It's just Sabellos was taken off when he was playing quite well. The game seemed to be coasting, and then just that that goal they considered the first goal they considered was just like, do you know what it reminded me of, Jace? It reminded me of like playing FIFA back in the day, and when you're playing <laughs> against someone that's rubbish, and you just give them a goal. I don't know if you ever did that. You just let someone score because you think, well, this is a bit boring. Yeah, you kind of just give up, give or don't don't try to tackle them. Yeah. Yeah, and that that's what it was like. It was just, you know, I don't know. It's don't almost know, like they're but, backing um... off too much, isn't it? Like, I don't know. It's I think that you. we had a caller on earlier on, and it's Watford. He's saying that, um, who was it? Was it Football Focus? It was Fantasy Football Focus that came on. Mm. He was saying that it's the, the return of Watford. And um, how that everyone was saying, hang on, it's it's probably just the fact that Arsenal made Watford look decent in the second half. Mm. Um, and as an Arsenal fan, are you confident that you can aim for top four? You can still challenge for top four. Like, I mean, it's a long season. I mean, I, I just think that, you know, I'm hoping that when Holding comes back, he'll come back to form and that will because holding can play the ball out from the back and he's comfortable with it whereas like socrates isn't um i mean yeah you can say david louise is confident with the ball playing it out um i mean obviously it's between us you and chelsea really chelsea are looking pretty good scoring goals um but they, they've got their own issues with the inexperience of some of the players and their team being a good and a bad thing united's I, I mean, yeah, obviously they got a good result on Saturday, but results prior to that have been great. But well, well, mate, well, all I'm going to say is, dude, <laughs> you still all, that all, 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 all I'm going to say is that it might come down to goal difference. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it could do. I mean, it, it's just the thing with us. <laughs> no, like, it's, I, I mean, think, at the moment, I we're both Steve-O, on. Well, I know Steve O said it about Emery when he was in charge at PSG and they, they beat, was it Barcelona 4 0? in the first leg of a Champions League, I think it was quarter final. And then they lost the second leg, like Yeah, six one or something. Yeah, I remember watching that game and thinking, Christ am I, how on earth have they done this? I mean, for all the individual brilliance of Barcelona, but it's because Emery just attack, 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 press, 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 but there was no real game management. So I watched that game yesterday and I just think, God, it's gonna be another it's gonna be a it's gonna be tough to get back in that Champions League, but we will see. <laughs> I I've just yeah I'm sorry I'm just bringing up this here. Who's top of the cash league at the moment? It's now um. It's show the, me the, the Oz, morning. The Oz, no, the Oz lids is now top because I've just seen it here. Yes, it's one yeah, point. Yeah. It's one point over. Yeah. Wow. Wow. So well well done. done to um yeah so Andrew Fong spelt with the F. It's gone uh, <laughs> one point clear tonight in the cash million well league and done. Terence Levi's third. Well done, Andrew. So, yeah. Well done. Absolutely brilliant. Again, it's Smashing really it. tight, as you just mentioned. Absolutely. So, I mean, that that thong, that thong is right up there. Ooh. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've, on that note, I think we got to the end of the uh, of the show. Steve-O, do you want to uh, do, thank you ever so much, Dan, for coming on. Cheers, man. Cheers, guys. 
<laughs> yeah, it's it's been a long one. It's been going on for a very very long time. And uh, thank you for joining us, everybody. What can I say, really, other than uh, if you have enjoyed the show, you know what to do as you're walking out. Just simply hit that like button before you leave because it just shows your support on uh, helping the channel grow. We get a lot of people saying, how do we get this channel growing? How do we get people, their eyes on this? Well, just simply hit that like button alone. And of course, subscribers, at the end of the day, if you are enjoying the stream, if you are enjoying the streams that we do, this is our day five in a row, would you believe? Okay. Um, and if you are enjoying it, but you haven't subscribed at all, why not simply hit the subscribe button? You keep coming back. So hit that subscribe button and you'll be notified as to when we are going live on air because we do do the odd impromptu stream. And to find out when we do these impromptu ones, we do all our advertising, all the admin on uh, Twitter and Discord. Twitter is at Elite FPL. And of course, the Discord, the uh, link is in the description of the show tonight. I'm sure that people will be posting. There have been people. I saw Daily Llama two seconds ago posting a link to the description. That's how you come live on air to speak to myself and Jason. Uh, you just heard Dan there, our former co-host. He's in now in charge of our Instagram page, which is at Elite FPL. And of course, uh, EliteFPL.com. Go over to there and you'll be able to enter a team or enter yourselves into the score predictor game, another bit of competition between us, the community, that we can have a bit of banter with. But um, yeah, other than that, what can I say? It's been a great it's been a great evening, Jason, and um, look forward to whenever the next stream is. I think it's yeah. Thursday, but Thursday I may night. be again. Thursday night at half past eight, guys. Half past eight, Thursday night. Yeah. We'll be previewing Absolutely. all things Game Week 6, and Steve-O will be returning with his history. Thank you. Yes. Guys. Good night. Cheers, guys. I, just, just of interest. Where, whereabouts are you? Not, not in the world, but are you near? Two seconds. Uh, just ask a couple of questions. So I just need to get the door for yeah, a second. No Sorry. Problem, this mate. is this is what happens when you're lying. Dad, what's going on? Uh, not really. I'm waiting to go to gym. What about yourself? Um. Live on YouTube doing a stream. Why do you feel that you're constantly changing your teammate? Is it just, it's just, just so many so, ideas? So many ideas, so many different perspectives. I br I blame Brett Mollison for his five at back Look because at when you see my new team. <laughs> wow. Brighton home, they couldn't buy a goal in the little last season. <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't know. Dan's got Dan's got Glenn Murray. I think he'll have a word to say about that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm detecting possibly a German accent. I'm probably completely way out, but where are you calling us from? South Africa. <laughs> I'm the first day. I literally just typed in FPL, like first draft, and yours came up like first. Mm. So I thought, oh, well, I'll watch one of the live streams when it comes on. And then I thought, this is a bit long, isn't it? About two hours in. And then three hours later, <laughs> Well, an hour later, I was like, yeah, they seem all right, you know. <laughs> what Steven's what? not that bad. I have one, que I have one question for you. I, I, want, um, I want you to predict the order of the Elite FPL ranking. So, like, <laughs> who, who, do you think will, who do you think will finish first, second, and third out of y'all three? This so, it's certainly, no disrespect to Dan, but it's certainly going to be between me and Jason and... Right now, as it stands, I'd go with Jason because my history suggests that I'm going to be having a bad season. So I've got the uh, the five at the back. I just see a lot of value there. I feel like if I if I don't have Salah, I can spread the money elsewhere and maybe maybe get the points another way. Um, All the teams now, except for obviously Salah and Sterling, these players, a lot of players are going to change towards the start of the season just because of new transfers. Um, injuries that could happen and every, all of that. So for me to tell you now, like personally right now, I'd say definitely if Tammy Abraham or Batshuayi are cheap, I'd get one of them just because I don't care about the Man United. We can score against them at least two or three. Hey guys, this season we're using Discord. It's a text and voice application where you can talk all things FPL with fellow community members. You can post your team in the Rate My Team, talk in the general chat. You can look at transfer news, look at awesome gifts. Sign up for our Cash Mini League, look at our previous podcasts, and even join us live on air in one of our streams. We look forward to seeing you guys. Link is in the description or look at the code on screen.